Aw, oh, man. Chuck Norris isn't gonna fit on. Not bad. <laughs> tough Artie. I think Tough Artie will be good because it's a challenge mode after all. Let's start. Oh, this is just such a magical, amazing game. I love it! Mail call! Hey Mario, we got the letter from Princess Peach. I'll read it to you, okay? Mario can read his own mail. What if it's like a private love letter? Alright, let's see. Let Mario read his own mail. I'm throwing a party at my pack. Oh wait, uh, is this Peach? I'm not doing a Peach voice. I'd be honored if you could both attend. Many guests from different distant towns are hoping to meet you. There will be tasty sweets and all kinds of entertainment. I hope to see you here soon. Sincerely, Peach. Oh, Peach, what a... <laughs> so Peach is like, Hey everyone, you should come to my party. Um, yeah, Mario's gonna be there. She hasn't gotten his RSVP yet. <laughs> what if Mario's like, I'm busy, I got the job. And then it's like, oh, hey, Peach, I, I really want to meet this Mario character. It's like, oh, well, um... Too bad. <laughs> do, 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 do. This game is so freaking amazing. I'm not saying it's perfect, but it is very close to. What a magnificent castle! I never get used to this place. Looks like lots of guests are already here. Yeah, that's true. I don't care about talking to them, though. If you want to see me talk to guests, check out my Let's Play of this. Also, one one of the big reasons I like this more than Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, you can spin in this, which makes you go faster, and it looks so cool. If anyone doesn't know, Paper Mario is a fantastic RPG game. The likes of which hasn't been seen in a very long time. Oh, Mario, you came to the party to see me. You're so sweet. Thank you. I will spare people uh, my terrible, awful peach voice. I was just resting a bit. It gets tiring greeting all those guests out there. Nobody will bother us here. Shall we relax and chat, just the two of us? <laughs> Mario's like, oh yeah, this is sounds good. <laughs> It was a lovely day today, so I'm sure it's comfortable out on the balcony right now. Would you accompany me, Mario? There's nothing out the window there. Oh, the balcony's up the stairs, that's right. I'm like, um, there's very clearly nothing out the window. And this game just kind of jets you right on into it. Plot happens right away. It's kind of amazing that Bowser managed to build his castle underneath Peach's castle, like underground, without anybody realizing it. Especially since Bowser built it like an air machine. Like an airship underneath it. Also, Bowser, you gotta learn that putting clown faces on everything is not a good idea. Although, I gotta say, this is probably the last game Bowser's in that he's actually, like, simultaneously, like, funny and comical and still intimidating, which is great. It's like the perfect balance in this game. Oh! Are you alright, Mario? What in the world was that? Yeep! <laughs> Jump! Oh my! Look, Mario! It's still daytime, isn't it? But I can see stars outside. What an entrance, huh? <laughs> Long time no see, Princess Peach! Bowser! But this can't be! It was you who made the ground shake just now, wasn't it? Whatever did you do? <laughs> yeah, that was me! I've lifted your castle up into the sky! It's sitting on my castle now! Weren't expecting that, huh? Ha! <laughs> this castle's under my control now, my dear! Now you will obey me! Huh? What? It's... Mario? What a shock! Ha! <laughs> not really. I expected you to turn up right on cue. You're just as annoying as ever. Unfortunately for you, there's nothing you can do this time. Haven't you learned your lesson by now, Bowser? 
You can never defeat Mario, he's the video game protagonist. True, true, I've had my problems in the past, but this time is different. <laughs> this time I'm gonna win! Okay, tough guy, let's go! Mario just jumps on his head right from the get-go. Mario, you can do it! Actually, we can't. It is impossible to win this fight without glitching the game. So this introduces you to the most basics of the combat system. Right now, all we can do is jump. Also, this is the best Bowser theme that has ever been created. I love the sitar in it. It, ma it makes it so menacing and so good. Good old Mario, always fighting. You're a fort in my side. But today, your pathetic little attacks won't beat me. Take a look at this! Look what I stole from Starhaven! It's the Star Rod! And I don't mean like that wimpy item from Smash Bros. This one's better. This fine piece of work has the power to grant any wish in the whole wide world. And when I use the Star Rod to increase my strength, even you can't beat me, Mario! <laughs> How do you like that, Mario? Oh no, now he's doing triple damage. We're in danger because we're at 5 HP or less. Get used to that. We're going to be in that for most of this run, I think. <laughs> Is that all you've got? How sad. You best take some vitamins because that didn't hurt at all. Oh man, the sitar in this music is so good. Yup, just as I expected. Mario's no match for the new me. It's not even worth my time to toy with you anymore, Mario. It's time to end this. Here we go, Mario. Good night. Why didn't he do that at the beginning? Peach is like, ah, oh, no! How is this possible? Mario's the video game protagonist. He can't lose. No, Mario, get up! Yes! Oh yeah, I did it! I finally did it! I beat my old rival Mario! Yes! Congratulations on your victory, your viciousness! That's why you're the king! As long as I have this star rod, everything I wish will come true! No one can stop me now! Well, 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 I guess I might as well get rid of Mario! He's no good to anyone now, that's for sure! Mario? Wow, Bowser can make lightning strike inside buildings, that's pretty boss. Oh no, Mario! She's not that concerned. Guards, take her to her room. Now here's the question. Do people want to see me actually do the voices? Or do people not really care about... Well, I can't ask, because nobody's actually watching the stream except myself right now. When people come in, I'll maybe I'll get a better feel. Because part of me wants to just skip a lot of this dialogue and just go straight to the gameplay. Paper Mario! Prologue, a plea from the stars. I'm gonna say... Since I already did the dialogue in my Let's Play of the game, so I think I'm gonna skip it from now on, unless it's like a really entertaining dialogue. I guess I'll get into what level zero means. So this is something that I actually came across only recently. When I first decided to do a challenge run, I was figuring, hey, I'll do a run where uh, the only thing I level up for Mario is BP, and I never use more than the free. And I learned that there's actually like a specific challenge called the level zero challenge, where how it works, every time you level up, you have to level up BP, Unless your BP is max, and then you have to level up FP. If you level up BP, regardless of how high it gets, you can't equip more than free BP worth of badges. If you ever have to raise your max FP, you can't use more than 5. You have to treat it like you still have only have 5. And then, you're also not allowed to upgrade your partners. So your partners will all be level 1. So that's interesting. And you also can't... Here's where it really gets interesting. You can't equip badges that cost more than 1 BP to equip. So even though we have, like, free BP, we can't equip any badges that cost free BP to equip. We can only do ones that cost one. So I think that I think that's a really good challenge, and I actually already have plans. I'm like, this won't be too hard. I mean, maybe it will. But I already have plans on how to make it easier. Mario, I'm an old man, and you need to come to the top of my mountain. Also, this is just a dream. And now we're in Goomba Village! I love this music. I love all the music in this game. This music has a fantastic soundtrack. Ah, Mario! You're awake! I can't do toad voices! 
There's a tiny little village of just one family. If it's just one family, it's not a village. It's just a house. I guess the toad's here, too. The toad's like, it's because I'm here that it's technically a village. <laughs> this is the worst toad voice anyone's ever done. Mario, did you know <laughs> that you could sleep here? <laughs> yes, I did. Later, losers. Hey, you. Howdy, feeling better? Feel free to rest. Oh, you want to leave? Oh, man. Oh, well. Hey, Goompa. Oh, you startled me, Mario. Uh, just, I just want to stare at the sky. Leave me alone. Oh, okay. Man, everybody's so grumpy in this. <laughs> So this is kind of mixed of a speedrun. Oh, Mario! My dad was telling you, he fixed the gate in like the five seconds you were gone. Oh, thanks. Hey, dude. Uh, hey, oh, got the gate fixed. Don't worry, you can just go through. Hey, good luck. Yeah! I know Bowser only struck you with lightning like a, a day ago, but you know what? I decided to check up on you. I was worried about you, Mario. Yeah, my instincts were right. You still survived. I'm not a weird. <laughs> I was voted most likely to succeed in my high school. You know what? You know what I could do? I could create blocks. This is the only magic I can do. I also love Goompa's face there. <laughs> I just fixed that gate. Nobody said gate to me. Well, you d you just did a good job of doing it yourself, Goompapa. Oh, I know. Only Goompa can destroy blocks. <laughs> Kami Koopa has the magic power to create them. And Goompa has the power to destroy them. Hmm, that's funny. I thought there was a balcony back here. Yeah! <laughs> Yahoo! Hey, you. What up? Oh, uh, hey, Mario. Yes, you, uh... Well, you see, I had the magic power to destroy these blocks, but I lost my, uh... Lost my magic powers. Actually, it's just a hammer. All I have is a hammer. I'm the only one who can use hammers. Okay, let's find the hammer, then. The hammer should be close by. Da -da 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 -da. We got the hammer! Oh, now you have the power to smash the blocks. Take that, you doofus! One thing I am gonna do, though, even though, like, there's not much here except a few coins, I do want to collect the coins. Because we're actually gonna need money. <laughs> In fact, we might need money quite a bit, actually. Especially at the beginning of the game, where there's no real easy way to actually make money. It's gonna be helpful to use. I got the dolly! It's a, it's a voodoo doll of Princess Peach. Oh yes, uh, Goomba Rio was making that. <laughs> Why does she have a voodoo doll of my girlfriend? Uh, don't ask me, Mario. Oh, nothing there? Oh man. Alright. Oh, and it's a character that everyone hates, but I actually kind of like. Well, let's have the hammer. Let's get out of here. Youch! Who are you guys? This is my playground, idiots! Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat you up because of this. This is this little kid who's like barely even born. Uh, this is Junior Troopy. He's the boss of the neighborhood. Gay. <laughs> this guy, he's like a baby, and also he's a baby who's beating up the elderly. This is terrible. <laughs> He's a bully! You know what you have to do with bullies, Mario. You gotta beat them up. <laughs> so now we can use our jump or our hammer now. Excellent move, beating him up. <laughs> so at the beginning of the game, the combat is ridiculously simple. No, there's really nothing to it. You select what you want to do, and then you take damage. It gets much more intricate uh, pretty quickly, though. But I do like Files in Your Door, how it just rushes you straight into the good stuff. I'm just getting warmed up. Even though you're doing the exact same moves on me over and over again. Jump is slightly faster than Hammer. Mario, you're almost done. And now he got so angry, he now deals double damage. But it's okay. One more jump and he is dead! Mario, did you know that this is an RPG? You get experience points in the form of star points. Get 100 to get a level up. Blah, blah, blah. Yakety, yakety, yak. Shoot, that was winning! You were never winning that fight. Never. <laughs> 
I mean it, I'll be back. Yeah, he will be back. We'll have to fight that guy like six more times in this game almost. Five or six. And he's probably going to be one of the tougher enemies. Oh yeah, mushroom. We got an item. Mushrooms restore 5 HP. We probably won't need that, but I'm going to take it. We can always sell it later. And that restores full HP and FP. We'll be destroying that block later on in the game. So that is hiding a very nice item. Also, this is another really nice item. <laughs> this is the Fire Flower. These are really good for early game. Really good. Heads up, there are Bowser Goombas up ahead. <laughs> I'm not going to say all Goombas are evil, because we're not, but... So yeah, for this run, I'm going to be avoiding as much enemy combat as I can, because I don't want star points, because I'm doing a low-level run. Oh no! That's not good. Luckily, we have the ability to run away. Oh, hey! I've never tried running away this early in the game, apparently. So if you run away, you do lose a couple coins. But apparently, you just have a one... That's bad. Ow, my foot! <laughs> I am the worst. Mario, this is Spiked Goomba. Don't jump on its head, you moron. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, well... It's nice how we can always escape from these battles this early on in the game. Weesh! Alright, let's try that again. Star piece! I'm actually not sure in this run how useful star pieces are going to be. The star pieces are their sole re the sole reason to get star pieces is to get more badges. But most of the badges you can get with star pieces are uh, cost more than one BP to equip, or they're just not gonna be useful for the run. No, I wanted my coin. I know it's just one coin, but I mean, m like I said, money is tight in this. At least at the beginning. Okay, that could have gone better. Money is not going to be tight at all later on. Don't worry, kids. <laughs> I got beat up by a baby, but it's alright. Mario saved me. Goopa, where have you been? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Sorry, kids, I was working on the deck and it collapsed. <laughs> uh, anyways, oh yes, I want to give you something. Oh yeah, he actually gives us something nice. Huh? Whoa, is that Goopa Rhea's voodoo doll? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> it's a voodoo doll. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> now we get a star piece and a kiss. <laughs> which Mario <laughs> shudders after, which is great. Uh, you're- man, I, I want to be like you, man. <laughs> I have a hat just like yours, even though it's blue. Sorry to have kept you waiting, Mario. We're just rapping with Mario. Uh-huh, is that that new music? Anyhow, here's the power jump badge. That one we'll actually use at the beginning of the game. This is called a badge. Do you want to learn- no, I've played this game before. I'm doing a level <laughs> zero playthrough. I know about equipping and unequipping badges. Oh man, you're going on an adventure. I'd love to go too. Well, how about I invite Goombario on your adventure? Goombario joined our party. He's our first party member. He's actually... <laughs> well, Mario, it's good that you have a companion. <laughs> Anyhow, later. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, your HP's looking a little low. That's because I jumped on a spike. <laughs> I'm like, oh hey, it's a Goomba. Doing. Ah, home sweet home. Alright, before I forget, I'm going to equip the badge. It only takes one BP, so we can do that. Also, one other thing we're going to do before we leave. Kabloom! Got a goom nut. We can save it later. I'm also going to try saving my progress fairly frequently, because if I have a game over, it forces you back to your last save point. So, I don't want to do that. Blam! There we go. Alright, now the run's actually going to start beginning. Well, I say run like it's a speed run. This is not a speed run. It's a, f it's a challenge play. Can't remember if that has coins in it. It doesn't have coins in it. <laughs> Are we still at the point where we're running away? Hey Mario, uh, did you know that we can j change our order of attack? Yes!
So again, avoid as many enemies as you can because that'll minimize the amount of star points you get. Man. I am sucking at this already as far as avoiding enemies goes. Man, this stupid Goomba's following me everywhere. We got a mushroom, cool. Alright, let's make him go over here. Red blocks have badges inside, that's the close call badge. And that'll be actually a pretty good badge for this run, because that activates when you have 5 HP or less, and it makes attacks like have a 50% like a chance of missing you. It's actually pretty good, especially since we're going to probably be spending most of this run in the danger zone. Alright, here we go. Hey, hey, suspicious guy! It's red and blue Goomba. They're also jerks, and they're going to beat us up for no reason. So this is one of those forced fights that we can't actually flee from. Luckily, we have ourselves a Fire Flower to make it a bit easier. And this is why Fire Flowers are so good. Free damage to all enemies is pretty nice at the beginning of the game. <laughs> Mario, how do you like this? <laughs> I don't like it very much. Alright, there goes Blue Goomba. <laughs> Blue Goomba, you'll pay for this, Mario! <laughs> we just killed him. We're savage. Red Goomba has like one more HP than him, other than that. They're identical. Goodbye. 20 more star points. <laughs> no! You suck! <laughs> I just realized we probably could have and should have... Actually, we told we could have and should have saved that Fire Flower. Oh, well. I wanted to show it off. Let's replenish our FP and our HP. Bada beam, bada boom. And now we're already up to the first boss fight. Goomba King's Fortress. Mario beat us up! <laughs> hey, Mario, see that building over there? I'm pretty sure that wasn't there yesterday. <laughs> Kami Koopa must have made a lot of blocks. So the first boss, if you're not prepared, actually can be decently tough. Unless you know the secret. Damn Mario, I'm the Goomba King. I revived them. <laughs> Even though I saw you make them go disintegrated. Uh, here we go. We're fighting him. Beat him up, Goomba King! We got your back! Even though the Goomba King is huge, he literally... <laughs> he literally does no more damage than the other two. Anyhow, the key is to hit the Goomba Nut Tree with the hammer. That'll just instantly take out the red and blue Goombas, and we'll only take one damage per turn instead of two. Oh no, he kicked me! The remainder of the Goom Nuts. Alright, well, goodbye, Goomba King. Very, very simple first boss once you know how to do it. <laughs> uh, whoa, what? How could I lose? <laughs> this sucks. Yeah, I knew we could do it! Victory! Get a star piece from the tree, just in case. Oh, uh, Red Goomba, uh, you're positive that you hit the switch well, right? Of course, King Goomba! I hit it in the grass outside the fortress! Outside the- you idiot! You didn't hide it in here? Mario will find it for sure! <laughs> oh, you, do you think? You know, you might be right. King Goomba, maybe we ought to try to trick Mario before he tries to... <laughs> Too late! Oh wow, there was actually a little bit of lag there. This game is not very laggy. Uh, Mario, uh, good fight and all that. Uh, I must warn you, however, if you happen to find a strange switch somewhere, you should definitely not press it. It's dangerous, understand? You already pressed it?! No! <laughs> and we still have the happy music going in the background. Oh, not anymore. 
What kind of a switch does that? It's like, oh, hey, we have this fortress. Let's build a switch that will just completely destroy it. Like, how does that even make sense? How does one switch do all this, and why was it created? <laughs> also, the bridge jumping down sends him flying into the background. That makes sense. Let's not question it. Look, the bridge! Now we can cross. Well, before we go to the next area, there's a nice little thing we can do here. Get ourselves a Super Shroom, which are actually going to be really good in this run, because they will fully replenish our HP. <laughs> Kimmy Koopa's like, are you kidding me? <laughs> He's already this far. Oh, yes, I would love to save and continue. Mighty King Bowser, I've been looking for you. A reporter evilness, Mario defeated the Goomba King in like literally five seconds. He's heading for Toad Town now. What the? Are you serious? Goomba King is the worst. I used the Star Rod to make him a king like literally a day ago because he begged me. And Mario whips him this fast? What a whip! Oh, uh, Kami Koopa, you are sure that Mario can never defeat us, right? Actually, sir, I've played this game before. He totally does. But any time, Goomba King is small time. It doesn't matter because you're invincible with the Star Rod. Yes, yes, very good! <laughs> By the way, Kami Koopa, those star spirits who captured won't have any way of giving Mario their power, do they? Don't worry, each is held separately. Just like any video game, you have to go to the seven different places and get all the stuff, then you can take on the final boss. And each is carefully guarded by your hand-picked subjects, all of which are kinda sucky. <laughs> Even Mario can't save all seven of the star spirits. <sighs> Who's the closest star spirit to Mario? It's the one at Koopa Bros Fortress, right? If Mario somehow reaches there, can the Koopa Bros defeat him? King Bowser, you mustn't worry. Coolest characters in the game. Hiya! Also, coolest theme music in the game. Here come the Koopa Bros. Uh huh. Oh yeah, we're the coolest of the cool. Psst, Jamie Koopa, are you sure these guys can get the job done? That Goomba King was gigantic, and even he couldn't beat Mario. Pshaw! Get real, King Bowser. Yeah, the Goomba King was huge, but he was a total Wimpola. We're nothing like him. See, what we got going on is the power of teamwork. Together, we can put the herd on Mario in seconds flat. Good moral for the wrong characters. Excellent! That's the spirit. Sell it, Koopa Bros. Show our king that special attack you do so well. And we come with a free car. Ready, everybody? Oh, oh, that, oh, that is so good. How'd you like it, King Bowser? How was it? Oh yeah, yeah, excellent, really, and I'm not easily impressed either. <laughs> Mario won't have a chance if you finish him with that attack. Yeah, they're not ever going to get the chance to do that attack. We'll take him, King Bowser. By the way, my Koopa Bros, about the captured star spirit I'm locked up, uh, I've locked up in your fortress, uh, who's guarding him right now? Uh, nobody, sir. Uh, you know, we're here, and so... Ah, you idiots! <laughs> Bowser has the most incompetent of minions, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Alright, question mark block down here gives us a sleepy sheep. We will almost certainly not be using that, but again, we can sell it. There's a badge up there, but we have no use for it because it takes 2 BP to equip. And we can't do that. Wow, Mario! You got the to Toad Town really quickly! <laughs> Alright, first things first, let's go to the shop. Alrighty. Let's sell the Goonet. Let's sell the Sleepy Sheep. Alright. Hmm, I'd like to get another coin. I want to have free fire flowers for the first world, because they're really good. <laughs> And that's why I was so obsessed with getting every last coin. Star piece, yeah. 
All right, up to Shooting Star Summit. That's where the plot gets kicked off, and then we can go to the first world. Man, I forgot. This game is... <laughs> if you're not talking to everybody and you're skipping most of the dialogue, it actually goes by pretty darn fast. Also, I adore the music here. Again, I adore the music everywhere in this game, but Shooting Star Summit is particularly beautiful. Hey, old man, I made it to your mountain. Ah, welcome, Mario. Thank you for joining us. We're the Seven Star Spirits. Anyhow, this is what we have to tell you. We're all locked in seven different places. Blah, blah, blah. Go save us all. We'll give you a special power every time you do. But we're guarded by Bowser's minions. <laughs> but after you have all seven of us, we can give you the power to, to beat Bowser. Mario, we are... Uh, we've nearly exhausted our strength trying to talk to you. Never mind that. Please, you're off. <laughs> help us, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're our only hope. Oh, Mario, this looks pretty serious. <laughs> we get another save point here. <laughs> yeah, Peach has got it. And meanwhile, Peach is in her beautiful room, but she's still crying because she just saw her boyfriend get killed. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> I love how she's not like, Mario died. She's like, Mario's probably hurt. <laughs> it's like, yeah, no duh. He got struck by lightning, thrown out a window, fell 10,000 feet. <laughs> how's, how's my favorite princess doing? Uh, <laughs> you know, princess, uh, want to go on a date like with me? <laughs> you know, I, I got a star rod. I can make a pretty awesome date. I can make anyone's wishes come true. You know, just I'm not going to force you to it. Just, you know, something to think about. <laughs> oh, she's like, oh, dang it. <laughs> Don't really want to go out with this guy. <laughs> not really into dating someone of, the op of a different species. It's Twink! Everyone loves Twink. Or at least I do. Hey, Princess! How's it going? I came from Starhaven to deliver these messages to you. There are ten commandments that I have to tell you. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I can't grant a bunch of wishes for you. I'm still only a small star kid. Do you think you could find Mario? I got this for him. I love Twink's expression here. This is a lucky star, right? Lucky Star. I don't know why we didn't start with the Lucky Star. This literally just makes the combat better. <laughs> Where we can actually guard against enemy attacks and do action commands to do extra damage. It's fantastic. And if I was in your door, you can do that right from the get-go. Mario, where are you? Well, he's probably down on Earth somewhere, Peach. Whoosh. Alright. So we got a couple star pieces. Let's... Uh, I actually want to check. What can we actually get at Shooting Star Summit that <laughs> we can actually equip, if anything? Maybe the Chill Out Badge, but I want to say that it actually takes 2 BP to equip. Hey, Merlo. We got star pieces. Alright, so can't do that. We might be able to do Chill Out. Not that, 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 not that. Okay, literally the only one that will be of any use to us potentially is chill out and <laughs> I mean we can equip that but that's doesn't actually do anything let's do chill out I can't remember if it's one or two BP oh he just said it's two BP to equip whoops all right <laughs> we literally have no reason to get any more star pieces The only badge Merlo has that we can equip is the Attack Apex A, and all that does is make our hammer sound like this. <laughs> Ouch! Hey, watch where you're going! Oh, hey, it's Mario! What up? I got a very special surprise for you. It's from Peach. Here's your lucky star. Hey, let's just use action commands. I know what an action command is. This is really important. Oh, great! <laughs> You've played the game before. <laughs> yeah! Here you are! <laughs> I'm Cappy Koopa's number one fan. I've got to beat you. <laughs> Cappy Koopa will shower me with praise. She'll give me a raise. Alright. Let's beat this twit. <laughs> yeah, now we can do action commands that let us attack multiple times. 
I'm still not great at defending against that, though. Goodbye. <laughs> Pretty easy. <laughs> wow, Mario, you just killed that guy. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Twink's just so nonchalant. He's like, oh, great job. <laughs> It's like, you do you know that these, these these people are, like, real people who are sentient and all that, and you just murdered them <laughs> by jumping on their head a lot. <laughs> that would be a painful death. Probably would also be a messy death. But, anyways, this is Mario. It's also, they're made of paper, so... Nintendo, please make another Paper Mario game like this for the Switch. Oh, Mario, Merlin wanted to talk to you. Okay. Merlin's out. I keep telling you Merlin's out. Oh, oh, you mean this Merlin. Oh, hey, uh, sorry, man. <laughs> you must be Mario. I love how Merlin is just randomly living in Toad Town. I am a wizard, in case you couldn't tell. Because my name is Merlin and all that. Anyhow, I have a long, boring story to tell you. And that is all that matters. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, I was totally listening. Oh, all right. Mm -hmm. Okay, anyhow, you must save Princess Peach as fast as humanly possible, of course. <laughs> Mario's all tired. Refresh your body and spirit at the Toad Inn. Oh, uh, yeah. So one thing about this is Goombario's our first partner. If I'm playing this just casually, I'd say like, Goombario is one of the best partners in the game. For this, for this playthrough, Mario's not going to be all that great. He can only deal two damage, he can only deal damage against enemies that have no defense, and he doesn't really have any good attacks. Headbonk is okay, he'll be decent for the beginning of the game, but once we get other party members, we're basically never going to use Mario again. Hey, I brought my cool old grandpa here. Merlin's like, yeah, I, I can see through your disguises. Yeah! I uh, just fought you were the you were the teenage mutant ninja turtles. No, we're the Koopa Bros, doofus. <laughs> oh yes, you must go to Koopa Village and get a blue shelled Koopa. It's very important. Chapter one: Storming the Koopa Bros Fortress. Cool. Sounds like a plan. Now we get more dangerous enemies in the form of Koopa Troopas. Hide, man! There's a red block there, but there's actually no point in hitting it because it's a 2 BP badge. Oh yeah, Fright Jar! We can sell that. Oh, a POW block! That'll be nice. POW blocks are actually pretty useful. Well, at the beginning of the game, anyways. Did not want to do that. <laughs> and now at this point, we don't running away is not automatic and guaranteed. We actually have to uh, fill up the meter. Whoop! No, no, no! Oh no, 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 no! I want my money. <laughs> don't take my money. Hey, Proxima, how's it going? We got a sleepy sheep. We are joining the world of paper today. Ah, uh, hi. Money, money, money. Right now, I'm basically just speeding through the game, trying to get as much money as possible. Because money is tight, and it buys some cool stuff. Alright. Down to Koopa Village. I can't remember the order for doing that. Oh well. Hey, oh, you're Mario! Could you help us out? These fuzzies are terrible. They're stealing our clothes. No, you stupid sho- you stupid <laughs> shovey? <laughs> Fuzzy, not shovey. Is that the same order I did last time? I can't remember. There's a specific order where if you destroy these blocks. If you destroy those blocks in a certain order, then you get a special surprise. <laughs> I 
it's like always the last one I try to. I don't know if it's the same every time or not. Left, right, back. Okay, left, right, back. Attack FX B. Why not? It does absolutely nothing. But, I mean, it sounds cool. Oh, I didn't know you could just jump on their heads. That would make, make things a lot easier. Thank you! I really owe you one. Yeah, you do. Give me money. Or maybe not. Koopas apparently can't jump. Actually, no. That That's true. Koopas cannot jump. No wonder the fuzzies are causing them so much trouble. Actually, I don't, I don't know if we have to help out all these Koopas or not. Hey, it's Chuck Quizmo, but there's literally no point in talking to him because we don't need star pieces. I'm kind of busy right now. Oh, you're a special Koopa because you're wearing a red scarf. Oh, I'm Cooper. So psyched to meet you. This fuzzy took my shell, and it's embarrassing because I'm wearing nothing but a <laughs> like an undershirt under all that. Maybe Koopas should just buy pants and they'd be less <laughs> less embarrassed. Me work. Get back here, fuzzy. Man, we're just <laughs> we're just speeding through the game. Holy cow! This was like episode five or six of my Let's Play. Me work. <laughs> Come get it if you can. Yeah, yeah. Your guess where I'm hiding. Here we get to play a fun little fuzzy mini game. You're in that tree. Me, York, not bad jump, but that was just a warm up. Guess where I'm hiding. Also easy. You got me twice, Mjork! Must have been luck! This time I'm serious. Guess where I'm hiding, Mjork? Oh, same. Same tree. Mjork! No, I give! Uncle, take the stupid shell back! <laughs> you're, you're too tough for me. I won't be bad anymore. Maybe. <laughs> That's the most sincere promise I've ever heard. Oh, he's ticked. Ah, I, I hate that I don't have my shell back! Well, here, here you go. Oh, yeah! That's my shell. Good to hear you're happy. <laughs> Thank you. Do you know Professor Colorado? No, I've never heard that name before. <laughs> yeah, I, I live next to him, so could I be like him and travel with you? Yeah, we're taking him. Oh yeah, on my way. You literally can't take... <laughs> you can't say no. <laughs> he makes you take him. Cooper's... <laughs> whereas Cooper is one of, I'd say, the least useful partners casually, in the level zero run, he's actually going to be pretty useful. Bjork. I changed my mind, sucker. How about a fight? And this is one of the reasons I bought so many fire flowers back in Toad Town. We'll just end the fight immediately. Goodbye, fuzzies. Alright, <laughs> next enemy we defeat, we will get a level up. <laughs> no, we'll be good, we'll be good. So now we get Cooper. Cooper can't attack aerial enemies, but he can attack ground enemies, and he can hit them without taking damage, even if they're, like, on fire, because he just hits them with his shell. Which is something that, like, pretty much no other party member does, which is actually pretty useful. He also hits them all in a single attack, which means he can be effective against enemies even when they have defense. Alright, item shop. Let's see what we got here. Oh, hey, stuff is cheaper in this shop. Ah, shoot. Welcome, this is old, reliable Koopa's shop. Alright, well, we don't need the sleepy sheep. And we don't need the fright jar. Wait, oh, shoot, I just sold my pal block. I actually wanted that. You know what? It's fine. We'll just buy some more fire flowers. <laughs> Fire flowers are just so darn good. <laughs> There's some honey syrup behind that. Honey syrup is nice because it refills our FP, and we can use more special attacks with that. 
<laughs> oh, hi! I was hoping I could avoid you. <laughs> Sorry, man, I just gotta get my cash! <laughs> Mario's a little too obsessed with money. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That's a good item. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! That's, that's a new sound effect that I've heard. Thunderbolt is really good. You can use it to basically instantly take out an enemy. Because it deals 5 damage pierced. And most enemies, at least oh, this early on. I forgot about paratroopers. These guys are annoying. Because it is very easy for them to get the first strike against you. Hey, a fire flower. Nice. <laughs> I knew there was an invisible block along that path somewhere. I think I was at full HP and FP anyways, but why not? Why not get a quick refill? Actually, yeah, we'll save. We'll save. There's really no reason not to. Oh no! Mario! Oh, you're you're so dead, Mario! <laughs> Alright, first dungeon, Koopa Gross Fortress. Not oh yeah, I forgot we actually have to fight this guy. gonna have Cooper do nothing, because if he attacks the Bob-omb, the Bob-omb's gonna go off, and he's gonna get mad. So this is actually a dungeon where we, we will have to fight enemies. Alright, so level zero run. I gotta level up, so that means I have to level up BP. And I can't use it. <laughs> I can only use up to free BP, and I can't equip badges that have that cost more than one BP. All right, hey, bob -omb. let's avoid you a lot. Oh, yeah, let's close that. Ha, let's see the great Mario get any further now. Somebody saved the great Mario? <laughs> yeah, the great Mario. Uh, uh, don't try to find your way through our fortress. <laughs> yes, the Koopa Bros are basically the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and it's fantastic. Nope. No Koopas are hurting me today. Oh, ouch. That's not good. This looks like a great time for a fire flower. I keep forgetting we actually have quite a few enemies to fight in here. Because enemies drop switches and keys for us to grab. This is also the dungeon where we're gonna get the furred badge we can actually equip that does something useful. The refund badge. Which will help out with our cash problems. I don't think there's anything over here. Yeah, nothing over there. I'm gonna bring out Goombario for this room. Because we have paratroopers to deal with. And in case I didn't say it enough before, paratroopers are so annoying. Combat is still pretty simplistic, 
And it's, on, it's honestly going to be pretty simplistic throughout this run. <laughs> it's mostly going to be us abusing the item system, and us abusing the few badges we actually can equip in order to do a lot of good stuff. Because <laughs> we're only going to ever have 10 HP throughout the entire game. And enemies... Eventually there will be bosses who can literally one-hit kill us. Oh, that's not good. Even... This is like... I don't even know how many times I've beaten this game before. I still have trouble with paratroopers. They always get the first strike against me. That really hurt. We're just jumping on these guys' stomachs over and over again. That's that's really gotta hurt. We are, however, now getting fewer start points because we've gotten a few level ups. There we go. Why not? We got some FP to use, so power jump is nice. Goodbye, Koopas. And unless I'm mistaken, I think there we have too many bosses in this dungeon, and then just the boss. And I think those are the last common enemies we have to fight. Could be wrong. If we play jump rope with these fire bars, we actually get a lot of money. Think of all the fire flowers I can buy with that. <laughs> Honestly, though, after World 2, fire flowers are going to be, like, useless. Not useless, but nowhere near as good, because I won't be able to just insta-kill all enemies. Alright, we finally got ourselves a key. Oh, wait, is the heart block inside the cell? Yeah, heart block is inside the cell. Darn it. Maybe I shouldn't have used that power jump. Oh, well. Oh, I just realized I didn't collect any Koopa leaves when I was in Koopa Village either. That's a bit of a problem, because Koopa leaves are going to be one of those broken items in the whole game later on. Oh, wow. Hey, man, you work real fast. Okay, this is perfect, I think. Oh, looks like Mario's here. Better skedaddle. Did somebody say Mario? Oh, never mind. We're, we're already really far in the dungeon. I forgot. This dungeon's not very long. <laughs> Give me that. Bombette! Yeah, Bombette's great. One of my favorites. Except Bombette might actually end up being the most useless partner in this run. Yeah, losers! Serves you right, you fell for it. The problem with Bombette is most of her use, as far as a partner goes, comes from her power bomb ability. Oh, what was that? Where did, who fell from there? And power bomb is ability that A, we won't be able to unlock because I'm not allowed to un uh, upgrade my partners. And even if I could, I won't be able to use it because it costs six FP and I won't ever have more than five. So yeah, oh, I wondered who just fell, but you're Mario, right? I never have thought in a million years I'd meet such a famous guy in a place like this. Who, me? My name's Bombette, in case you hadn't noticed, I'm a bob -omb. Pleased to meet you. So Bombette, how about you and me? We work together. I'm a menace! <laughs> I like how her, 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 her uh, fuse is a ponytail, it's great. Please join my party. Alright, let's get out of here. <laughs> I love how the bob are in a cell that they can easily get out of by blowing up this part of the wall, and they're still stuck in here. They're like, oh man, what? I don't know what we're gonna do. <laughs> Thanks. So, so she's gonna be useful as far as utility goes, 
But we're going to use her a little bit in this dungeon, and after that we probably won't use her again. Okay, let's go to Goombario. <laughs> What's all the noise? In case you bob -bombs forgot, <laughs> blowing up is illegal. <laughs> Fire bending's forbidden. You're going in the cooler. <laughs> Hey, we got fire flowers. That guy took, like, fire to the face, and he's like, yeah, whatever, and then one Goomba jumps on his head. He's like, oh, guess I'll die. Oh, money, thank you. Alright, Bombat, we need you for utility. Okay, that worked out way better than I was expecting. I fully expected her to accidentally blow up that Koopa. But no, she didn't. <laughs> Good job, Bombat. Proud of you. <laughs> One thing I almost forgot about. We absolutely want to go out here. Because this badge is going to be very, very useful for us. It's the refund badge. Whenever we use an item in... Uh, when we equip it, every time we use an item in battle, uh, we will get some coins. And the amount of coins we get is proportional to how much we can sell the item for. So it'll give us a nice little payback for uh, the fire flowers, and then <laughs> later on in the game, as we make really expensive items, every time we use one, we'll get a bunch of money. So we'll basically have unlimited money thanks to this badge. Alright. Yep. I remember there were paratroopers up here. Alright, Cooper. This game has really good design. Like, none of your partners in this feel bad. If I was in your door, like, Flurry and Miss Mouse were really kind of useless. But in this, all of the partners have some kind of nice use. And it even makes for great puzzles like this. Granted, I like Koops' uh, stage ability better, where you can hold him in place and launch him later. But I... Actually, Koops is probably a better partner in the long run. He has extra defense, and he has the Shell Slam ability. But I like Cooper appearance overall better. Man, that is the worst Koopa guard ever. He's just like, oh, it's Mario, whatever. <laughs> he, he, he's pretty clearly made it so made it clear that he doesn't want to fight anybody, so I'll, I'll honor his wish. I won't fight him. Oh, never mind. <laughs> there, I tried. <laughs> that guy's getting employee of the month for sure. Actually, really close to the end of the dungeon already. And the end of the dungeon's gonna be my favorite part. <laughs> They're like, ah! What's happening? We were just taking a nice little bath, and then this happens. I'd be freaked out too if that just happened out of the blue. Alright. Thankfully, when they're scared, they won't chase after us. All right, one last thing. One last thing we want to get before we go to the end up here. If we, ideally, we can avoid this bob bomb and get the smash charge badge. Which actually, I think I want to equip um, instead of close call, at least for now. Smash charge can be helpful. Oh, that's right. This is going to be kind of annoying. I want to avoid the bullet bills wherever possible. Well, well, Mario. Don't get smug, pal. You just caught us off guard. We'll mop the floor if you get serious. Yeah, boys. Open fire. Oh, there are three of those. I thought there were only two. Okay, my strategy for these might have to change a little. Bombette, blow that up. Because we want to get some maple syrup. Tastes delicious when you put it on waffles. Alright. Alright. 
so I'm not going to spin in this area. I want to try jumping over them wherever possible. Oh, no. That bad. Actually, that's not that bad. Mario successfully ran away from bullets. Which is pretty impressive considering how fast bullets are. Alright. So here's what's gonna happen. Wait for that to fire. Oh! Never mind! Bomb just instantly destroyed them. Oh, sweet! That's nice. Thank you, Bombat. <laughs> oh, so, okay, so blowing them up as the first strike is very good. Oh, and we get a bunch of money for that. Nice. Alright, we're gonna want Cooper for the boss. Definitely gonna want full HP and full FP. And yeah, we'll save. It is extraordinarily unlikely I'm gonna die to these guys. Because <laughs> I recently realized that if you come in with a fire flower, they're gonna be a joke. Guess who? <laughs> it's me! <laughs> you guys ready? Hey, Black, what are you doing? Hurry, shake your leg, man! <laughs> Ow, my shell, get off! Wait, wait, wait a minute. Whoa! Oh, for the mother of, what are you doing, yellow? That doesn't look cool at all! <laughs> okay, hang on. Okay, I'm ready, Red. Finally! Let's do this. Remember to look cool, guys. Yeah! Gwa ha ha ha! I've been waiting for you, Mario. Gwa ha ha ha! The strongest and the coolest behold the glory that is the great evil King Bowser. It is time for me to beat these foolish ideas out of you. Save me, Peach, please. Watch this and weep. Oh, he's so intimidating, isn't he? Let's smash charge a little bit. Cooper's gonna be the best partner for this fight. Because he can actually damage the guy. <laughs> I'm invincible. You're powerless before me. He can actually damage the guy, and he's really going to come in handy for the second phase. No! Oh. <laughs> What's the matter with you? This is even funny. You can't even touch me. Alright. We only have free FP left, and we want to save all that, so let's hammer the guy and deal a lot of damage. <laughs> Alright, so I've dealt 5 damage from him, 3 damage from Cooper. Alright, cool. Hey, Mario fix really Bowser! Shh, Mario will hear us! <laughs> Mario's already hurt you. Alright, and I believe this will be the last hit and Trojan Bowser will be destroyed. <gasps> oh no! That costume was perfect! Bowser loved it! Alright, so the second phase is generally where beginner players have trouble because they can deal a lot of damage to you if you're not careful. Here come the Koopa Bros. So I can't remember if they're just going to attack right away, because it's technically their turn to attack. Okay, Mario, have a taste of this. The Koopa Bros special super spinning attack, yep. Yeah, so that deals four damage, which is a lot. But that's okay, that's the only chance they're going to have to attack. Whoa! We're going over! <laughs> and now the fun begins. Here comes the slaughter. Fire flower? Why, yes, I would love to use a fire flower. Refund that, please. <laughs> and now, Power Shell. Goodbye, Cooper Bros. <laughs> Oh, look at all those star points. <laughs> wow! 
<laughs> Mario's like, I did a good job. <laughs> and the bomb sealed the exit. Hello! Somebody let us out of here! <laughs> oh, poetic justice. They also have the Princess Peach poster in there, which is fantastic. It's a call forward to a game that hasn't even been created yet. <laughs> and then we get the first Star Spirit, who will actually be pretty darn helpful throughout the entirety of this run. Well, I probably won't even end up using it a whole lot, but 5 HP and 5 FP is great. That's half your HP back and all of your FP back. <laughs> Because, again, just a reminder, only going to have 10 HP and 5 FP for the entire run. And so Mario and friends beat the Koopa Bros at their fortress and rescued the first Star Spirit. Still, six Star Spirits remain in prison, and they must save them as quickly as they can. And Mario, everyone's fate rests in Mario's hands. No pressure or anything. Oh, yes, and now we get to read pri Bowser's private diary. It's a fantastic, uh, it's a fantastic time. I wonder what Mario's doing right now. I wonder if he's hurt. <laughs> He'll be fine, Princess. He just trashed the Koopa Bros. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> he has tons of fire flowers. Anyhow, it's impossible for you to escape now. Wait a minute. I remember that the minister told me there was a secret passageway out of the room for just this kind of situation. <laughs> That's just a fake fire, after all. Yeah! Now we can get out of the room! I wonder if this is what, like, monarchs do in their castles. They're just like, oh, we want a secret passage here in case the peasants revolt. And we put a secret passage there. Oh! I don't know what I was expecting. Where are we? Different part of the castle. Hey, look at this! It looks like somebody left a private diary lying around. Uh, yeah, let's read. Oh, you like doing this sort of thing, do you? Tisk tisk. Well, then, very quietly. Let's see. Her day of sunny. Uh, I went to Star Haven, stole the star rod. Oh, I'm invincible. Cool! I also captured those seven star spirits so they won't annoy me anymore. It was a hard day's work, and I was feeling pretty bush. Dinner was nice, but a bit bland. I like how Bowser actually has a diary. Just, just the fact that Bowser has a diary is fantastic. Let's do that. All right. Cloudy, then sunny. Today was great diary. I used my castle to lift Princess Peach's castle way up into the sky. Then I barged into Peach's castle and I beat up Mario. Yeah, unbelievable. I know. So fun. And there's more. After that, I could that Princess Peach. I couldn't be happy with your diary. I hope she likes me. <laughs> Princess Peach, this is Bowser's diary. Ugh. What do we do? Should we read more? Yeah. All right. While this Cooper Rose got beaten by a st stupid, stupid Mario diary, even except for the stupid Star Spirit I kept there. Oh, I'm so mad I can barely write. Oh, I'm Mario. I'm so big and strong and good and helpful. I hate him, but I'm not worried. There's no way Mario can save the Star Spirit's being held in. <laughs> Bowser just picks a different color pen that's red. Dry, dry ruins. <laughs> to do that, he'd have to solve the mystery of the sands and then find dry, dry ruins in. <laughs> Pale pulls out the red pen again. Dry, dry desert. <laughs> <laughs> How would he even know to go to the desert anyway? So I'm not worried at all. In fact, I'm gonna calm down and go to bed to bed now. Oh no, it's in the middle of the desert! <laughs> Tori, can you tell Mario that? Oh no, I can't believe I left my secret diary lying out open to the pages I was writing in. It would be so embarrassing if somebody read that thing. Bowser just makes himself right at home in Peach's castle, pulls out his diary, he's just like, Oh yeah, I'm gonna write here. Do, 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 and just leaves it out. Wh what? What's the princess doing here? Ah, you little sneak! You read my diary! Uh, do you like me? <laughs> okay, Bowser, is there a problem? You're the worst guards ever! <laughs> Take Princess Peach back to her room immediately. Uh, yes, sir, straight away. Uh, forget this, sir. <laughs> The Koopa Trolls look pretty cool, I gotta admit. Twink's just like, um, nobody saw me. I'm just gonna duck out. <laughs> oh, Mario, you saved an old man like me. I will give you my power. It normally gets dated pretty quickly, but here it'll actually be pretty useful. You learned uh, Star Spirit Power. Using Star Power requires Star Energy. Would you like to tell me? No, uh, it's very important. I've played the game before, dude. Shut up. <laughs> Mario, listen carefully. You must save the other Star Spirits quickly, and all seven of us can help stop Bowser. We can do everything in our power to stop Donkey Kong. Anyhow, I will go back to Star Haven. Save everybody.
So I could blow up that wall, but that just leads to a badge that takes free BP to equip, which I can't do. Alright. No, no. I actually am going to pull out Bombat, because she's going to be useful against an upcoming boss we have. Oh, hang on a second. There might be coins down here. I know there's a star piece down here. Nope, just a star piece. Alright. No need to grab it. They're completely useless to us. Why not? Let's just pick up the Dizzy Attack Badge. Might as well. It looks cool. Hold it there, Mario! I've been waiting for you. I told you I'll be back! I'll get my revenge now! Wow, you have really bad aim, Junior Troopa. I'm talking to you! This will be different. Who's this kid? Let me get this straight. He wants to challenge you? You gotta be kidding! <laughs> Shut up! Mario, you remember me? No. What? Darn it! That was like only like 20 minutes ago. You don't remember me? I'm Junior Troop. It was more than 20 minutes ago. It was like 50 minutes ago. Get ready to hurt Mario. I'm gonna show you. Yeah, check it out. Never seen anything like it before, have ya? Blow you up. Smash Charge isn't going to be all that useful, but it'll be useful for a little bit. Alright, he has 10 health left. <laughs> Soon to be 5 health left. Ouch! Who knew Mario has such battle skills? <laughs> uh, it's not over yet, though. <laughs> Four health left. Yeah. Oh, actually, well, no, I'm gonna save my Thunderbolt for when I actually need it. Right now, I can just use Refresh and then another bomb. <laughs> I knew you'd need my help eventually, Mario. <laughs> And now we will we will pretty much never use Bombad again. <laughs> Which is a shame. At least not for battle. Yeah! <laughs> oh, you can be very cruel to poor old Junior Troopa. Mario, remember me? It's me, Twink. <laughs> Remember me? I heard that you saved the Eld Star. Oh yeah, it was pretty easy. But enough about that. You gotta go to Dread Red Ruins. <laughs> That's good to know. Alright, now I'm really hoping something will appear in the badge shop. Hey, mister! I'm really hoping for the Jump Charge badge. Darn it. I really need Jump Charge. Speedy spin could also be nice. But, eh. So if I just go back to Pleasant Path and back, will he change up his selection? That's the real question. Nope, same selection. Darn it. Looks like we're gonna have to go to someplace completely different then. Hey, dude. Puff, well, hello there. I'm a bubble. I came from Flower Field, the wonderful land of flowers. I love the spread of the wonderful flowers of the Flower Fields all over your land. You like flowers, don't you? Of course you do. Who doesn't? For that reason, I'll entrust this to your care. We get the magical seed. That'll be helpful later on. Oh, plant it and it'll bloom. They have a <laughs> plant them with delicate hat. Its beauty is fragile. Sounds very interesting.
Alright, this is the second shop of Toad Town, and we got some expensive stuff here. Stone caps could be very helpful in this run. Harry's shop. Alright, Harry. I want you to keep my... S oh, okay, I'll... Actually, I don't think we will ever have any use for maple syrup in this entire run. So we could sell that. Ten coins. That's not bad. Well, no, I'll, I'll hold on to it for a little longer. I suppose what I could do is I could just go to the second world, then immediately go back and say, uh, Rolf will change up his badge sele selection. Also one thing. Eh. Oh, wait. Whoops. Let's try this again. All right. A little extra cash never hurts. You really never have a problem in this game with having too much cash to hold. Apparently, people have a problem with that in Paper Mario 2, which is why they made the gold bar as an item. I never found any use for them, though. Alright, nothing we can do in the Toad Town tunnels yet that's of any use to us, so let's go down here. Yeah, I want to go to Mount Rugged. Well, actually, I don't particularly want to go to Mount Rugged, but, I mean, I got to. <laughs> All aboard. I got to go to Mount Rugged to make Rolf change up his badge selection, because I really want the Jump Charge badge. Speedy Spin also could be useful. I can actually equip it, and it does make you go quite a bit faster, which is useful for dodging enemies, but... Also, I'm... Well, hmm, Smash Charge could still be useful. I don't know. I'll, I'll work out which badges I'll equip later. There's nothing on Mount Rugged I even want to fight, so... Chapter 2, The Mystery of Dry Dry Ruins. World 2 has really good music, I must say. Even if you don't like the desert feel, I think it's a pretty good desert world, all things considered. Mount Rugged, Mount Rugged! coin and give you will give me an egg so we can't actually go back to toad town until we leave this screen and come back because the train is going to be facing the wrong way ah confound it where could it be how did this guy become a mail carrier anyway, if he's always losing mail? <laughs> Sorry, folks! I was looking for something that wasn't much more going. Oh, you're THE Mario! I'm Paracarry. Um, can you help me find my letters? Because <laughs> I really suck at my job. Mario's gotta help out everybody. Alright, one thing we definitely want to do... This guy's Wacka. I feel bad hitting him. But his Wacka's Bump is a really good item that you can that can sell for a lot of money. And Sleepy Sheeps we can also sell. That is a good badge, and I'm pretty sure we can equip that. I think it's Paper Mario Thousand Year Door where it costs 2 BP to equip. <laughs> that... That works. Cooper's like, hey, I know you're running away, but I have really long arms. Here, take this. Nope. Out of here, Cleft. Don't want to deal with you. That's not good. <laughs> Ow, my foot! So clefts are annoying. We actually can't even take them out without using the Smash Charge badge. Or, you know, a pal block. I think they're even impervious to fire flowers. Oh, no!
Alright. Oh yeah, this is fun. <laughs> These slides are just pretty fun. Whee! There's a badge in this area I really wish that we could equip. Hi! You are really fe Oh no, we're out of room? Oh. Let's get rid of the egg. We can always get others really easily. There's a badge up that cliff that's really, really good. But it costs free BP to equip. It's a damage dodge badge. I don't want to deal with you, Cleft. Alright. Man, the game goes by just so much faster if you don't fight enemies. No, oh, my, my money! My money! Well, I can't even... Whatever item is in there, I can't carry it anyways, so... I think it's just honey syrup anyways. I mean, honey syrup is pretty nice, but... Stupid moles. A single fire flower can take them all out, but there's no point in fighting them. <laughs> These guys are so annoying because you can never tell where they're going to pop up. <laughs> I want my money! <laughs> I'm sorry. Many more problems, I know, but... <laughs> hey, Paracarry, I got your letters. <laughs> no thanks to you, you were literally just pacing back and forth in one spot over and over again. I also generally consider Paracarry to be the worst partner in the game. He's actually going to be pretty useful in this run, because he's somebody... He's going to be our only partner who can attack aerial enemies with defense. Until we get the final party. Well, until we get a later party member. Alright. Back to Toad Town. Got some stuff to sell. And I really, really want that jump charge badge. I also want Speedy Spin, to be fair. All aboard for Toad Town! The main thing is, I really... When we get to World 3, I want to enter World 3 with, like, 100 coins, at least. Just to be safe, honestly, because World 3 is going to be pretty dangerous. World 3 action... World 2 and World 3 are probably going to be the most dangerous worlds, believe it or not. Because it's at the end of World 3, we will get the, ba the, the badge that will make everything so much easier and safer. Please have jump charge. Nope, we got multi-bounce. That's not terrible. I'm gonna buy the speedy spin badge. Actually, I wondered, is maybe jump charge doesn't even come into play until a later world. Alright, well, I have 9 BP, but I can only use 3, so I guess we will unequip... Let's see. I won't be able to jump on most enemies in this world anyway, so I'll unequip power jump and get on speedy spin. I really like speedy spin. <laughs> Hi, dude. I got some stuff to sell. Uh, Wax Bump sells for 64 coins. Yeah. Uh, sleepy Sheep. Don't need that. What else? I still have a bunch of Fire Flowers. Cool. Alright. I am going to now... Wait, not sell. I just did sell. I'm going to check my Maple Syrup. 
Um, let's see. No, Thunderbolt could be useful in this world. The rest I don't want. There are a couple of enemies with a lot of defense that we're uh, coming across in this world, and I think the Thunderbolt is actually going to be a very useful ability. Also, one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to turn my mushrooms into fried shrooms, which are a bit better. I, l I love the recipe system in this. One of my favorite parts of the game. Well, here you are. It's not too bad. It's not the healthiest dish out there, but I mean... I'm actually going to look up when you can get Jump Charge, because if Jump Charge... Jump Charge may not appear in the bad shop until after we beat World 2. Sorry, I'm trying to control Mario with one hand and look up Jump Charge in the other. Okay. Jump Charge, I don't think, even comes into play until after World 3, from what I can tell. So I can't get it now. So it's a good thing I bought the Speedy Spin and just settled on it. I'll ignore the eggs. The eggs aren't terribly great. They're just mushrooms. Actually, they're better than mushrooms because you can turn them into fried... Well, fried eggs don't give any FP, though. Hi, Wacka. <laughs> don't hit me! <laughs> Poor Wacka. Sorry, but your bumps are a massive cash flow for me. Oh, yes, we need that badge. We need that badge real bad. That is the Quake Hammer badge. Yep, and it only costs one. Nice. I think I'm going to find that a little more useful than Smash Charge. I might re-equip Smash Charge later on. This is, this is so dumb how the clefts just get right in your way. You know what? I got a lot more money now, so if I lose a few coins, that's fine. Wackus Bumps really help out with the cash. Oh, and with Speedy Spin, I can get the coins back real easily. Hey, you talking to me? Oh, yeah, you talking to me. I came from flower fields. No one really noticed me. Here, I like good conversation. Take this magical seed. I will, thank you. Oh, yeah, and up, up next, there's the buzzard who will try to fight us, but he, there's actually a way to avoid fighting him. Hey there, hold up a sec, partner. I think I've seen you before. Actually, Buzzar might be a girl. <laughs> yep, very similar. You look a lot like this fella Mario who's on Bowser's Wanted poster. What's your name? Luigi? Hmm, well, you do look like this, dude. Well, you're not Mario, I guess. You can pass. Bowser doesn't make a water poster for Luigi. He's like, yeah, Luigi, he's not going to do anything. <laughs> Imagine if you could get Luigi as a party member. He'd basically behave exactly the same as Mario. I love the Dry Dry Desert music. It's so good. Anyhow, we're just a pass and through. There's a bunch of badges hidden in the desert, but 
There's only one that we can equip, and it's just an attack have X badge. I don't particularly care about it. <laughs> that badge is really nice, but it costs free BP, and it really wouldn't help us out anyways. Hi, bandits! Oh, there's four of you! How wonderful! Oh, that, uh, those were not good odds. <laughs> no! Not you again. I don't want to fight. I'm pulling the Gandhi strategy. Only fight when you have to. Alright, here we go. The Oasis. Uh, is this the lime tree? No, that's the lemon tree. Cool. We need that. Actually, hang on. What are my items at? So I can hold one more item, technically. Eh, I'll deal with that later. Hey, dude, you don't look suspicious or anything. Hi, Chuck. I will give you my lemon. Oh, heavenly lemon, the nicest of nice fiends. You've proven you're nice by giving me my favorite fiend. Since you're nice, yes, I'll tell you something really nice. How do I see Mustafa? I'm Mousetafa. To find Mr. Mousetafa, go to the shop in this town. First buy a dried shroom, then buy a dusty hammer. You must buy them in the correct order, yes? Remember, dried shroom first, and then dusty hammer. This is a secret sign known to those loyal to Mousetafa. If you buy these things in the correct order, the owner of the shop will let you see Mr. Mousetafa. Remember, you must not buy them in the incorrect order. If you still seek some knowledge, you must give me something more. That's enough. Well, goodbye. I wish you luck in finding Mr. Mustafa, nice guy. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Hi, man! Hey! Uh, let me just make sure I have room. Cool. Uh, for no reason, I'd like a dried shroom, and I'd like a dusty hammer. Oh, oh, you're a sign of... You know Mr. Mustafa. Hey, brother, how do you do? You want to see Mr. Mustafa? He's usually up on the highest part of Dredger Outpost. Just keep going up, my man. That was useful. All right. As soon as we did that, we were selling those back for... <laughs> so we lose two coins, but that's fine. I want room in my inventory to sell stuff. And I'm selling you my wackas. Oh, wait, he only pays 30 coins for that. Nope. I will sell that back at the Toad Town shop. They pay, like, double for that. So now that we did that in that order, Sheik is gone. Yeah, that's actually Sheik. Not, none of this Super Smash Bros. nonsense. Hey, nice guy. We meet again. I'm glad you found me. I'm Mustafa. I'm the one you've been seeking all this time. When I'm out and about in Dry Dry Outpost, I use the name Sheik. It's always good to meet a genuinely nice guy. I meet people all the time, but you are by far the nicest guy I've met so far. Your name is Mario, yes? I heard that you want to go to Dry Dry Ruins. I have a feeling you are on an important journey, so I will tell you the secret. Dry Dry Ruins is a very important place. My ancestors have watched over it for many generations. If I do not keep evil folk out of the ruins, who will? You must promise me that you will tell no one this secret. I'll give you this. We get the Pulse Stone! Pulse Stone is the key to finding Dry Dry Ruins. Take it to the desert, yes? The Pulse Stone will flash above your head as you get close to the ruins. The closer you get to the ruins, the faster the Pulse Stone will flash. Follow where it leads you. 
Find the place where the pulse stone flashes and the fastest <laughs> and the fastest, and you use it to open the way. Sorry. I had trouble talking there at the end. Alright, so now we get the privilege of trying to find out where where Dry Dry Ruins is. Nope! <laughs> ah, those bandits are the worst, because they are so fast, and it's like, oh, if you jump, you're, you might land on their head. And they're also out to steal your hard-earned cash. I earn my cash the hard American way by smacking Wacka on his head, and taking, <laughs> taking his lumps, and then selling them for profit. Well kept a secret here. Well, because we picked up the fire flower, we won't be able to grab all three of these in one go, but that's okay. Gotta smack it 50 times in order for the third one to appear. So that one contains a super shroom, the one with 50 contains an ultra shroom, and that one contains just a regular old mushroom. We'll grab the mushroom later. I also can't remember exactly where the attack FX like C or B or whatever badge is. Stupid pokey! Out of my way! Oh yeah, there's four of you. No thanks! The Ultra Shroom is gonna be useful for the cell. In case you couldn't tell. Most of the items we grab in this we're gonna sell. To buy more Fire Flowers. <laughs> Alright, here we go. I love this sequence. Immediately, the desert turns to night. Apparently, they were inspired by the Cave of Wonders from Aladdin here. I think this is a good desert world. I mean, most people hate Dry Dry Desert. I think it's actually very well done. What an entrance. Am I right? What an entrance. So good. <laughs> Cooper's just like, oh yeah, whatever. <sighs> I'm the huge scary Totten Koopa. Get out of here. Mario's like, I'd rather not. Now we got poison pokies. Or pokey mummies, as they're called in this. I will be avoiding these combats as wherever possible, but much like Koopa Bros Fortress, there will be a few fights that we have to do. And this is where Koopa really shines, because he can actually smack into the pokies without taking damage. And he has Power Shell, of course, which is great. I And it just occurred to me, I probably should have brought more Honey Syrup. I brought a lot of health-refilling items, but... Very few FP refilling items. Eh, well, I've got some fried shrooms. They restore 2 FP in addition to HP. Fool, you ignored my warning, you fool. I like this dungeon. 
There are very few dungeons in this I don't like, honestly. Actually, I don't think there are any dungeons in this that I don't like. The closest one it would be this one or Koopa Bros Fortress. Unless you count the whole of Flower Fields as a dungeon, in which case that's the most annoying just because that has the most copious amount of backtracking involved. Don't even know why I'm bothering with the star pieces. They don't do anything. Ah, yes, this room. This is an annoying room. This is why I brought so many fire flowers. Okay. Let's see, I have one fire flower. Oh, I have three of them? Okay, cool, one for each battle. Because these free battles are going to be the only ones where the Fire Flower actually has value. Because there's a bunch of enemies that actually will take damage from fire. Wait, that doesn't kill the swoop? Oh, that's not good. Whoops. I thought there was only at free HP. I guess they have four. Oh well. That's still fine. These fights are normally pretty... <laughs> kind of nightmarish without fire flowers, because the Poke Mummies can poison you and lower your HP very quickly. Plus, I would rather take out the Poke Mummies first rather than the Swoopers, because, again, Swoopers can't poison you. Oh, and here's something I don't remember. Does Quake Hammer take 2 FP or 3 FP to use? I know it takes 3 in Thousand Year Door. Yes! Nice. So actually, that's a lot better than Cooper's Power Shell. Well, not a lot better, but... Actually, no. No, in this run, it will be a lot better, because Cooper will never deal more than two damage. For all enemies. So never mind, Quake Hammer almost invalidates Cooper. Uh, wait, don't go in that room! I mean, uh, flee while you still can! Simple little puzzle in this room, just flipping staircases. Doggone it. It's very easy to fall off. <laughs> I should stop spinning. Spinning it's, it will generally send Mario off the cliff. Especially if the room is kind of curved a little bit. Oh, 
And even though there's literally no point in getting this spell, oh, never mind. I'm not getting the Soul Go badge. <laughs> and we get the Super Hammer. This is one of the few upgrades we actually can get because we have to. Super Hammer lets us blow up the metal blocks, and now our hammer does twice as much damage. What's for here? Oh, whoops, I missed something. Actually, no, I didn't. Oh, how I wish I could use the, get the upgrade block. But alas. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't matter who I have as my partner. These guys are going to be kind of annoying. Fortunately, Quake Hammer, two Quake Hammers will kill them. But they are powerful. And we don't even need two Quake Hammers. Oh yeah, we don't need two Quake Hammers. I could literally just smack them with my hammer, then have Bombette smack. Never mind. Should not have wasted the two FP. Oh well. Diamond Stone. Yeah, I really wish I could hit that to upgrade, like, Cooper or something. <laughs> no. I don't like beetles. Also, if there was an iron block on top of that switch, why was the switch not pressed down? Or it was pressed down, why wasn't the staircase appearing? It's like, oh, only when Mario's weight lands on it will the <laughs> staircase appear. There's a tiny bit of backtracking in this dungeon, but it's not too bad. That's right, if you go up here, this is another chomp room. <laughs> yeah, that's what I wanted. And one nice thing about level ups is they do top off your HP and FP if you're losing, if you're missing any. Buy stone chomps. Never mind, you guys aren't too bad. Especially when you can get the first strike with Bombette. Oh yes, yes, FP, yes, hearts. No one with my hearts. Oh, oh, I got money. That's fine. Also, the boss of this dungeon is going to be one of the tougher bosses in the game, I think. Well, maybe not. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I almost forgot about that. Mario's like, oh boy, I'm going to go down and jump off the cliff. <laughs> Come on. This actually fills that room with the key that we grabbed with sand, and you can never go in there again. Thank goodness there was enough sand in the room to fill up the whole room. How I forgot that you have the super hammer for these fights, but you totally do. Ow. 
I gotta get better at those uh, guards. Because if I don't get better at the guards, then I'm gonna have a bad time later on in the run. Do we have triple digit? We have triple digit coins for sure. Nice. Okay, we're gonna have plenty of money for the third world. That's good. This is a cool dungeon. It really does feel like desert ruins, which is great. All right, now I think I'm gonna actually have Goombario for the boss. Paracarry could also be good, but I'm worse with his action command, and also he can get stunned by the boss worse than Gumario can. Cooper and Bombette are both going to be terrible because the, this guy's in the air. <laughs> I love this boss. I love all the bosses in this game. Even Huff and Puff, who I hated as a kid, but now I know the secret to it. He's actually really fun now. You, you ignored all those very scary warnings. Don't you have the common sense to get scared and run away? What's wrong with you? You shouldn't mess with Tutankupa, Koopa, a faithful follower of King Bowser. Oops, I mean, you shall regret this. Should have changed up my badges. That was a big mistake, to not change up my badges. I wanted Power Jump for sure. <laughs> come Chomp, come bite this intruder! So for me, there's really no point in going after the Chomp, because if you kill him, he'll just summon another. Actually, this looks like a great time for the Thunderbolt. Did I save before this boss? I really hope I did. I also love the little... That was a mistake. I didn't want to jump on the chomp's head. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! I'm a magical genius, watch it be a bit- Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Oh my gosh, I'm still alive. Yeah, I think Paracarry gets hurt more by that than I do. Okay, this is not good. Um, I have full FP, so super shroom me, Captain. I'm so stupid. I was supposed to equip Power Jump before this fight. Okay, good. He's doing this again. This time, there's a catch. Okay, so now, how confident am I to guard against this jump? I also don't remember. I don't remember if I saved beforehand, so I... <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Oh, wait. I can't go backwards in my stream, can I? Shoot. And I don't think anyone was watching them all. Okay, um... Yeah, I'm going to take the risk. Darn it. Okay, I really, really hope I saved before this boss. And I can't, I can't even remember if I did or not. Oh man, I can't even remember the last time I saved. Did I even save when I answered Dry Dry Ruins? Okay, I did. Thank goodness. Artie, you worried me. Alright, no speedy spin. Yes, power jump. I definitely want refund. Um, Quake Hammer's really not all that useful, so I will equip Close Call. Thank goodness. 
I was, I suddenly got really scared, because as far as I could tell, the last time I saved was, I felt like the last time I saved was like after getting Paracarry's letters, which would have been really bad. Alright, this will go by a lot better now. Because now I can deal a lot more damage against Titan Koopa. If I can get the action command right. I still absolutely like the idea of lightning bolting this guy. I think it's a slam dunk. Love the boss music. I'm a magical genius. I love how this magical genius attack deals less damage than the Buzzing Beetle attack. Oh no, Gumbario's been injured. Good thing I have some fried shrimps. Yeah, Tonkoop is actually going to be one of the trickier bosses to do, I have to think. Which I know what you're thinking. You're like, how is that possible? Well, you'd actually be kind of surprised. Because this is the point of the game. We don't have access to a lot of cooking recipes. We don't have access to two of the best badges in the run. <laughs> we don't have access to a steady supply of really good items. It, this is really... This is honestly one of the more challenging fights in a level zero playthrough, I think. From what I'm imagining, I, who knows? There could be some nightmare bosses up ahead. Ouch, what are you doing? That hurt! I'm kid of the desert, you rude, rude man! Take this- wait. What? I don't think I've ever seen this before. Ow! Man, I'm seeing more of Tutankoopa Koopa than I ever have before. He must be really low on HP. I was about to say, he doesn't have any other shells. So is he just only going to do the magic attack? Oh, there we go. Goodbye, Tutankoopa. Koopa. <laughs> Still no level up for me. That was pretty tricky. No! <laughs> oh, come here, Choppy. Oh, what are you doing? Yeah! <laughs> oh. Well, that was embarrassing. I actually died to that guy. I can't remember the last time I died in Paper Mario. But I guess it's only appropriate because of the level zero playthrough. Well, holy cow. I'm still totally in the mood for more streaming, so we're going to keep on going. Go to the third world. Maybe we'll be able to knock out the whole game in just two streams. Now, I can't see this Star Spirit being all that useful. I used to, I used Mamar a lot in a casual playthrough in World 3, but because we can just ignore, like, all of the enemies, there's really no reason. And so Mario and Party died, but then came back to life and completed the Dry Dry Desert Dry Dry Ruins. They smashed Tutankoopa Koopa the Wizard and freed Mamar. But the enemies are growing stronger, and Mario is not. <laughs> what will happen next? Well, this is where things get interesting, because now we're going to start being able to give Mario some really good badges. It's Bowser! <laughs> Hello, how are you feeling, princess? Nothing makes me happier than a smile from you, Peach. Tough luck, dude. That's kind of sexist of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's rich. I don't care about being misogynistic. <laughs> that jerk Mario that you just beat up the Koopa Rose and Tun Koopa. I'm 
done. <laughs> sure, they're complete wimps, but they're still loyal to me. I can't forgive Mario for disrespecting me. Also, now I've got other non-Koopa enemies to throw at him. I'm never this in the bud right now. I'm using the invincible tumble blubber on him. He's the strongest creature I know. After me. You best forget about Mario. Oh, your nastiness! We have a problem! Kirby Koopa, why so riled up? Come on, I was just smooshing the princess. <laughs> what? The Star Spirit flew away from Tumble Bubba's castle! Kate Bowser, keep your voice down. Peach will hear you. Peach heard everything. Peach can hear you, Kami Koopa. Uh, yeah, tell me the details over here. Yes, your rottenness. <laughs> <gasps> Twink, did you hear that? Yeah, Star Spirit escaped. They call him invincible, though? Oh, that's not good. You think Mario can win? Well, we better find out anything about him. No time to lose. And now we actually get to sneak around a lot more as Peach. And the nice thing is Peach can find badges for Mario and put them in a chest and Mario can get them. And that's really good. There's one chest, there's one badge in particular we're going to grab that's going to be one of the... F Probably one of the two best badges in the entire game, actually. As far as as far as this run goes. The two badges I'm thinking of are badges I never use in a casual playthrough, because I there's there's no reason to at all. But because we're gonna have such low stats though, it's gonna be pretty nice. And by pretty nice I mean it's gonna be kick butt. Alright. We're going into the library. There are guards here, we better be careful. Forget that. Oh, whoops. Princess Peach! You know I can see you! Oh man, I got too greedy! Are you alright, Princess? Yeah, that was just plain stupid. I'm talking to you, Artie, behind the screen. Why would you do that? That's nice. They just skip right to the end of this. Anyways, so that's what happens if you get if you're stupid and let yourself get caught. Let's try this again. This badge. Power Rush badge when Mario's in danger, his attack power increases by two. That's pretty good, especially since with our low HP. Actually, it's gonna be faster just to get caught. Because we have such low HP, only 10, we're gonna be like in danger 50% of the time. So that extra two attack power will let us deal a lot more damage against enemies, which will make a lot of bosses a lot easier. But that's not even the best badge. The the best badge by far we're gonna get in the third dungeon. It's it's like the power rush badge, but way more extreme. And if we manipulate things. Oh, hang on. So what we gotta do is Peach has the badge. We we need to give it to Mario. So let's go in here. Oh wait, nope. Wrong room. That's the that's the dining room. This room, yes. We also in here get the Deep Focus Badge. When using Focus, it charges with edge star power more than usual. We could also potentially use that, but we probably won't, though. <coughs> Sorry about that. I tried to mute my mic, wasn't able to, so you had to hear the sneeze. That's a beautifully crafted treasure chest. You like it? It's a mysterious treasure chest. It's linked to another one in the Mushroom Kingdom. I don't know where it is, but we're putting both of these badges in there. So when Mario finds the other chest, he'll be able to take them out. Power Rush is going to be freaking amazing. Now the thing is, I'm not sh here's Here's my conundrum. I'm not sure if Power Rush activates if you're in peril and only have 1 HP. Or if so, it might be like if you have 2 to 5 HP, this activates. But if you only have 1, it doesn't because you're technically in peril, not danger. But, if it does activate when you're in peril, that's going to be really, really good. Because <laughs> the other badge I'm talking about only activates when you're in peril, and it's really nice. So if, uh, if, if it works the way I think it is, 
then I can just put Mario in peril, and his attack power is going to be, like, ludicrously high, and he will be able to one-shot basically everything in the game. Hi! <laughs> Thank goodness he can only see straight left and straight right. <laughs> Hey, have you heard about Master Tubba Blubba? I heard a rumor he loves eating ghosts. Oh, uh, ghosts, huh? Master Tubba Blubba, he lives deep inside a forever forest, doesn't he? I think he's guarding one of the star spirits right now. Yeah, Master Tubba Blubba lives in the castle at the top of Gusty Gulch. I heard that somewhere near his castle is a mansion and a village full of ghosts. I guess Master Tubba Blubba goes there sometimes to catch booze. And then when he catches one, he gobbles it down, starting with its head. Chomp! <laughs> oh man, that's so scary! Now I won't be able to walk to the bathroom alone at night, and I'm gonna have nightmares! I know it! Why'd you tell me? I also heard the Master Tubba Blubba's invincible. They say he can't be hurt. Nobody can even scratch him. He might even be stronger than King Bowser. Stronger than King Bowser? Come on, that's impossible! Even Master Tubba Blubba has to have some weak points. It's just common sense. Yeah, you may be right. There's another rumor that Tubba Blubba's got a secret that would ruin him if it ever got out. I bet it's about his past. I heard he didn't used to be strong at all. Shh! What if Tumpa Blubba hears you? He might gobble us up! Still, what do you think his secret could be anyway? I don't know. No one knows. That's why it's a secret, you half-wit. Twink, it sounds like Tumpa Blubba is a weak point after all. If only we could find out. Huh? Hey, did you hear someone talking just now? Gasp! Do you think someone knows we're goofing off in here? Oh, wow, wow, Princess Peach, how'd you get here? Oh, sorry to have to do this, but, uh... <laughs> I always pictured Hammer Bros to have that kind of accent, like, Oh, hey, guys, I'm a Hammer Brother. <laughs> or like, hey, guys, I'm a Hammer Brother. Just kind of like that Southern Hick voice, I don't know. It's Mamar. Thank you, I'm Mamar. We meet in person. Now you get the ability to put enemies to sleep. It's like a sleepy sheep you can use for your star meter. But, Sleepy Sheep kind of suck. There are a couple of enemies it's really good against. Like Kent C. Koopa and any Clubba. And we're going to encounter Clubbas a lot in this next world. But we're going to avoid fighting them at all costs. Alright. Oh, that's right. I don't, I'm like, I feel slower. Yeah, that's because I don't have Speedy Spin equipped anymore. Um, let's see. For this next upcoming world... I mean, honestly, that looks pretty good. Man, those blocks can be kind of picky. Uh, as much as I would love to just kill him, I really want to minimize the amount of star points I get, because like, ideally, I really don't want to ever level up my FP. Oh, it's a freight jar. I mean, I can sell it for cash. Oh no! That one disappeared forever. I didn't know that happened. Alright, before I leave, there's the attack FX... C or D badge that I'd like to try to get. I don't know where it is. I just know it's on a rock somewhere. Stupid bandit! Out of my face! suspicious. It's one of these, like, small round rocks. You jump on it and there's an invisible block above it. I'd, I'd like to get the attack ethics badge. <laughs> Just say no to pokies. Oh, this has got to be it. Booyah. Attack ethic C.
Anyhow, that's enough of that. Cool. Alright. Out of the desert. I don't think we ever have to go back here again for the rest of the game. I think we're gonna have to be questioned by Bazaar again, though. We're gonna be like, hey, who are you? And I'll be like, oh, Luigi. Yep, sure enough. <laughs> this guy would actually be fairly tough to beat, I think. Especially without a Thunderbolt now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're Mario. No, I'm not. I'm Luigi. Okay, I guess you do look like him. Oh, I can grab another Wacka's bump on my way out as well. Because I am very cruel to poor old Wacka. Whoosh! If you hit Wacka enough, then eventually he actually dies, which is really sad. But also you get a bunch of money for it. So Wacka's Bumps are one of the few items... Actually, Wacka's Bump might be, like, one of two items in the game that are actually, like, finite. That and the Pebble. There's only one Pebble in the game. Which is honestly alright, because the Pebbles suck. <laughs> Cooper looked happy. Yeah, I'm going back to Toad Town. All aboard for Toad Town! Ooh, I could also invest in Little Oinks. Little Oinks could give me some Repel Gel, and Repel Gel's gonna be a extraordinarily useful item. Got a lot of money, but I also gotta spend a lot of money. Come on! Alright. I actually could buy Sleep Stomp. I could buy Double Dip. Actually, uh, Realistically... Realistically, I'm never gonna use Double Dip. Realistically, I will not use it, so there's not much point in doing that. I would like to claim my Wackus Bump, please. Okay, I'm gonna sell my two Wackus Bumps for 64 coins a pop. Ultra Shroom only sells for 50, really? That's kind of disappointing. But I mean, <laughs> realistically, my Ultra Shroom is not... Well, I'll hold off till later. You can check it, though. Alright, FP in this world is really... FP will not be a problem, I don't think. I'll buy another Honey Syrup just in case, though. Nope, nope, not buying it, not buying it. Oh, one thing I will do, though. Before I forget, Shooting Star Summit, grab the Power Rush and the Deep Focus Badges. Gotta get Power Rush. <laughs> I'm not lying or joking when I say it is seriously one of the best badges in the game. 
four challenge runs like this. Again, if you're just playing this casually for the first time, it's probably only going to be mildly useful, especially if you level up your HP a lot and you're not really in danger. And if you are in danger, you're probably going to get, try getting out of danger by healing yourself. Okay. And Power Rush and Close Call can work well in tandem, because when you're in danger, Power Rush gives you two extra attack power, and Close Call makes it so 50% of attacks miss. Or, it feels like 50% of attacks miss. It might be lower than that. It's 30 to 50%, I think. I'd have to actually check that. Alright, Toad Town Tunnels. Let's do Goombario. Let's change our badge equipment. We'll unequip Speedy Spin and we will equip Close Call. Blooper! I cannot remember how much... HP regular blooper has. I could tattle on him to see, but... I don't think so. So right now, if Mario jumps on the blooper's head, Mario will deal one damage per jump. I'm gonna let him hit me free with that attack. Now I'm in danger if I do my regular jump now. As you can see, I'm doing free damage per jump because of Power Rush. That was pathetic, Mario. And I'm actually dealing more damage by a, with a regular jump than I would with Power Jump, because Power Jump only deals 4 damage. That was risky. That was actually pretty risky. Um, I'm actually going to tattle on him to see if I will finish him off. Oh yeah. Okay. I wanted to make sure I would kill him with Mario, because if I didn't, I was going to heal. Also, Close Call did not activate it during that fight. Thank you. Hi guys, it's a me. All right, items. Oh, I've got so much room in my inventory. It's wonderful. You might be wondering why I'm going back here. Well, remember when I said there was the metal block down here that had a special item? We're gonna get us some Repel Jill, which makes us completely invincible for several turns. It's very good. There also should be something up here. I believe back on the balcony. Oh yeah, shooting star. Shooting star is going to be pretty nice as well. It's also, I think the only shooting star you get, one of the only shooting stars you get naturally just by playing the game. Otherwise you have to buy them. And they're expensive. We're going to go to Koopa Village because there's some, there's an item in the village that is very, very useful for later on in the game. And it is... Is it this bush? It's gotta be one of the ones over here. This one, the Koopa Leaf. It only refills free FP, which isn't very good. And by itself, it isn't very good. But once we learn how to cook more advanced things, it will become legendarily awesome. Oh, 
Alright, dude. Let's check some items. I want to check the Koopa Leaf. And the Koopa Leaf. And the Shooting Star. And that'll be all. I'm just gonna collect a bunch of these. Which I will use. I will use all of these later on. Once you can get the cookbook and can cook with two ingredients, Koopa leaves become ridiculously powerful. Oh, hey, it's Chuck Quizmo. Hi, buddy. Alright. So I have two Koopa leaves in there now, so now I'll have six at the end of this. Now I'm going to buy three mushrooms. They're very cheap here, only four coins apiece. And I'm going to check those three mushrooms. Mushrooms plus Koopa leaves are really good. So, how it works is once we get the cookbook, Tasty can make uh, recipes out of two ingredients. And what this means is uh, we can make... So we can make recipes from two ingredients. The best thing you can do, buy a mushroom, get two Koopa leaves. Mix the mushroom with the Koopa leaf and you'll get a Volt Shroom. Volt Shrooms aren't terribly great by themselves. However, then if you mix the Volt Shroom with your other Koopa leaf, you get a Life Shroom. Life Shrooms are really good. Not only can you sell them for quite a bit, but the real thing is... The real nice thing is with the Life Shroom, when you run out of HP and you have a Life Shroom in your inventory... It will automatically get used and it will revive you. Ooh, snowman doll. Snowman dolls are, are also going to be useful in World 5, for the World 5 boss. So I want to collect those as well. Also going to go this way. I'm not sure if we'll have any use for this badge, but I want to collect it anyways. It's the Power Smash badge. Makes our hammer attack more powerful. But the thing is, for most of this run, I'm going to want to just use Jump. Because when combined with things like Power Rush, which increases your po attack power, it only increases your attack power for your hammer once, because you only do one hammer strike. But for your jump, you do two jumps, so that increases your attack power twice. So if your hammer does six damage with Power Rush and you're in danger, it'll deal eight damage. With your jump, however, when you have once you have the max level jump in boots, um, each jump deals three damage plus two, so you'll deal five damage per jump for a total of ten, rather than eight damage. Uh, cook my egg. And I get the fried egg. Makes it twice as good. Alright. World free time. Ah! Uh, the ghost just passed me! I, uh, I see, I saw. It's over there! Nope. I didn't see anything. No, the other way. This poor guard. It went into the forest! Mario, this man is... I am afraid of ghosts! What the wuss? Alright. Power rush, close call. Cool. Yeah. We're cool. Uh, let's bring out Cooper. Surprise, surprise. I like Cooper in this run. <laughs> I'm gonna be paranoid about saving everywhere now. Pardon me, are you Mario? Sorry for scaring you. I want you to come to my mansion for dinner. I don't mean me eating you. I just want to have you over for dinner. Chapter 3. The Invincible Tubble Blubba. I like this chapter. Tubble Blubba is a very unique character. The forest is going to be annoying to avoid enemies, though. Sorry, Piranha Plants. I don't really want to deal with you. Whoa! He just teleported a ridiculously long distance. I didn't think he could teleport that far. Whoa. 
what do you think you're doing? This is Forever Forest, it's dangerous. Yeah, but I'm at this point of the game where I need to go here. Oh, well, then in that case, I'll let you through. Check out for the pathways. Just him? Yep, yeah, that's just him. Alright. This can be tricky to do if you're a first time player, especially because the enemies make things more annoying. Alright, here's where I want it. Hi there, I'm a Baboba. Should I give you the seed? Yes, you should. Please plant it in a good place or else I'll take care of you. That sounded ominous. Alright, that's what I was waiting for. <laughs> we painted a red paint a weird face on that tree, so that's the way you need to go. Yes, I am going to Boo's Mansion. Thank you. <laughs> cool, that didn't... That, that was probably the easiest time for the Forever Forest ever. <laughs> I like that. Whew, it looks like we finally made out of the spooky forest. Hey, Mario! You think that mansion is the mansion the old guy was talking about? No, he was talking about a different mansion deep in the woods. Not this one. Oh, welcome, sir and madam. Welcome to Boo's Mansion. Please go to the third floor. I'll see you there. If you can make it up to the third floor, that is. I went in there. I knew what was in that room. Dude. This is a cool part. Uh, mini dungeon, I'll say. Mario, you've come. If you want the record, you must guess who holds it. All right, man, I'll do that. The Lady Bow will be very angry if we let him get it too easily. Be. Take it. I've always found Boos to be kind of cute. Bleh. I get why like they're supposed to be creepy, but I I just find their designs to be pretty endearing, actually. Oh, and now we get to play the Mario Bros. theme on the phonograph. Come on! <laughs> there we go. Don't know why he just warped over there again. We got the weight. Oh no, Lady Bo, give me one job to guard that treasure chest. Oh, she's gonna punch me so bad if she finds out about this. Oh, that's okay. Maybe you still won't see her. 
She's like, all right, you're the most incompetent boo I have. You have literally one job. Just stay in front of this chest and don't move. Okay. Oh, hey, music. I'll move. That chest is a trap. It will make the chandelier fall on you. So don't open it. That'll come in handy for later. <laughs> Door closes and it falls. We can't escape the room. But luckily we have this giant chest in here. And this is the real nice vein. This is one of the best veins in the game. The super boots. Mario, welcome. If you want these boots, you have to guess who holds them. The Lady Bell will be very angry if we let him have them too easily. Now, Mario, you must guess who holds it. I know who holds it. It's you! We get the super boots now. We Our jump power increases and we can do ground pounds. No, boo -hoo. Oh, you guessed it. Yeah, I did. Yes, please. Yeah, we found a way out. Cool. Oh yeah, I forgot this shop sells snowman dolls, technically. A lady Bo told me not to sell any items to Mario. You're him. Bo, you're a jerk. <laughs> Super shroom, yes please. Those are pretty good. Apple. Only place in the game you can get apples. And that's what we're after. Boo's portrait. Cool. Let's blow this popsicle stand. And you're supposed to blow up the wall from that side, but the game's smart enough to let you do it from both sides. Alright, now we can finally reach what I wanted to reach. Boo's portrait. Oh, it's nice to be back in that portrait. You want to go up to the third floor? You can do so magically. Say hello to Bo for me. <laughs> you finally arrived. Took your sweet time, eh? That's not what I pictured Bo to sound like. My name is Bo. I'm the one who's been such a jerk and refused to let people sell to you. Oh, of course, milady. All of the booze were incompetent to let Mario get here. Tubba Blub is terrible. He's eating all our friends. You've got to do something about it. So you have to find out uh, the secret and defeat him. And in exchange, we'll stop blackmailing you and we'll actually let the Star Spirit free. The, bo the booze are terrible. It's like, oh, this guy's the only guy who can actually, like, stop Bowser, who's trying to conquer the universe. They're like, yeah, well, we're going to use him for our own self-interest. My lady, what? You're terrible. <laughs> You're very evil, my lady. Well, of course I am. I'm a boo. <laughs> lady, oh, that's, that's very stereotyping of you. <laughs> Bo joined the party, like it or not. Bo's actually going to be one of our best party members in this playthrough. Cause she, because we can't level up any party members, she's actually our most powerful one, provided the enemy has zero defense. 
If the enemy has zero defense, she can smack them for four damage. No other party member will be able to do four damage. However, if they have any defense, then she's going to be almost useless. Not quite useless, because her secondary ability, ability out of sight is actually very good. It's going to be really good in this run, because it'll let us stay in peril for longer. Are you scared? No, I'm not. I know exactly what's coming. Hyper Goombas? I don't care about no Hyper Goombas. Oh, Lady Bo, what a surprise! Oh, he ate he ate another guy. What a, what a shocker, right? Hello there, are you going up to get revenge against Tubba Blubba? Well, yeah, kind of. I was planning on it. Oh no, he's hiding! We can hide. Tubba Blubba is one of my favorite bosses. Everything's cool, lady, he can't see you. Um, dude. Uh. Mmm, looks yummy, I needed a snack. Just the concept of a, a monster who eats ghosts, I think is a really cool concept. A little tiny, but good. No, Stanley! The horror of it all! Not only will Bo- Bo is gonna be amazing for this run. Not only can she deal a lot of damage against enemies with zero defense, but her, she can also help us avoid encountering enemies with her ability, and she can also help us stay in peril for longer. And we get another Repel Gel. Repel gels are going to be so useful in this run. <laughs> Super Shroomius, please. I would like that. Oh, I'm out of room. Oh, well. I don't need an apple anyways. I'm not afraid of seeing the doctor. Alright. Tell of Love's Castle. And with Speedy Spin, you can just outrun those fans. You don't even need Bo's ability. So these clubs can give you a lot of experience on casual playthroughs, but here we just want to spin past them. Up, oh, just a start piece. Tell me why this castle's a really cool dungeon, too. I like the aesthetic of like an old crumbly dungeon. Guarded by clubbers. Castle key! Beautiful. <laughs> There's a boost just hiding out here, spying on Tubba Bubba. Oh, I wish I could level up. Like, all of my partners. If I could level up just one partner, though, I would probably level up Goombario. Actually, no, I would definitely level up Goombario out of all the partners. That I have right now, anyways. Because he, not only does he also gain the ability to deal four damage to enemies, and he can also deal damage to enemies that have defense, but he also gets the ability to use charge, which is really good. All right. <laughs> Oh, Speedy Spin. You are fantastic. No wonder it takes... I've always wondered, I'm like, why does Speedy Spin... Um, thanks for making me invisible, Bo. That was great. <laughs> I, I definitely pressed down C. And when it didn't work, I pressed it again. And when that didn't work, I pressed it again. I literally pressed down C three different times. And Bo just refused to do anything. Well, great. <laughs> the Wall Masters got me. Thank goodness we don't care about beating up the clubbas. Because if you get caught by one of those fanes, all of the clubbas that you have destroyed respawn. Alright, let's 
Try this again. Thank you, Bo. I don't think there's any... No, there's no point in going for the crack behind that guy. It just leads to the D-down jump. Which takes two BP to equip. This is the room I've been waiting for. This room makes the whole rest of the run a lot easier and actually, like, possible. Alright. Collect all those. Secret badge in this room. And here... We get the Mega Rush badge. When Mario is in peril, his attack power goes up by four. Oh, I thought it was five. Okay. Not quite as good as I was expecting, but still, that's pretty useful. All right. So now, I'm really hoping those two stack together. So this, if they stack together, if I have one HP, I have plus six attack power. I thought it was going to be plus seven. That's actually kind of disappointing that I don't have plus seven. That's okay, though. Come on. Hip hitboxes on those are a little strange. Um, <laughs> yeah, no. One clubba is bad enough. Four out of the question. Oh. Made me lose a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, okay. I am missing a little bit of HP, so I will eat a fried shroom. Oh, I just realized. I didn't... Okay, well, the... here's the thing. The reason I wanted to be so rich was... The reason I wanted to be so rich was because uh, I wanted to buy some life shrooms. That's not going to happen. I don't think I'll need life shrooms, though. Hey, Mobius! Glad you joined the chat. Hmm, what's this? <laughs> I smell something very fishy. That's because Mario took a bath in seawater before coming here. So he's invincible. We can't do anything to him. Also, he's too big to fit for several of these doorways. Okay. What we want to do is we want to walk slowly through this room. If you walk slowly, you won't wake any of these guys up. You get the castle key. <laughs> and that's just fantastic. Yeah, I was gonna buy a bunch of life streams that cost like 50 coins a piece. But as it turns out, I didn't need I don't think I need to. The game's length and complications astounds you for some reason. <laughs> hey? I mean, this is a this is a fantastic game. One, my number two favorite game of all time. It's so good. Hmm, I might be in trouble. That star spirit ran away, and now I think someone suspicious is in the castle. I sure don't want to make King Bowser mad. He's scary. He did make me invincible, but if I screw up, he might change me back to normal. This is a very impressive game for the N64 era. Time for some beauty rest. It's also one of the last games for the N64, which partially explains it. And in here, it's a special key that can talk. Hi there, I'm Yaki, a faithful and chatty follower of Master Tubblebubba. His very, imp my very important job is to guard his valuables. But you don't look like Master Tubblebubba at all. 
That means you've come here to steal me the magical key which unlocks the door to Wendy Mill at the foot of the Gusty Gulch Prospector and Stinky Peter that down there and he lit a stick of dynamite and now he's about to be blown to smithereens? <laughs> <laughs> yep. You're a very honest person, aren't you? Help! Master Tom of Lava, a thief! Uh, huh? What's all the noise? Five more minutes, Mom. Oh, he's awake! We gotta run! This is one of my favorite parts of the game, too. Now he chases us out of his dungeon. Hey, you thief! Stop! That sounded like an auctioneer's voice. <laughs> yeah, that was intentional. <laughs> Here we got in this corner of Yaki the Key. Who's gonna pay $50 for it? Do I hear $50? $60? Uh, $80? Going once, going twice, sold to Mario for zero money. He's stealing it. Alright, <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. <laughs> so we're already like approaching the boss of this world. And, honest... Hmm. Oh, here's something I haven't tried. Can we just run back to Toad Town? At last, we arrived at Tubman Bubba's castle. Are you ready, everyone? Be brave. We must all do... We can do all we can to help Lady Bo. But what can we do? This is no time to lose our nerve, fellow boos. Our dear lady is fighting against Tubman Bubba himself. We mustn't hesitate. Come back here! W w what's that noise? Tubba Blub is chasing you, and he's on the uh, right on the other side of the door. <laughs> what? You might be able to find out Tubba Blub's weak point. Oh, of course, the windmill at the foot of the hill. You must hurry, run as fast as you can to the winning D mill. We'll hold Tubba Blub here. It's too dangerous. He's a madman. He'll eat every last one of you. <laughs> Why won't this door open? I don't know how long we can keep holding this. Don't worry about us. Go for all our sakes. Don't look back. I smell delicious ghosts. Open the door. <laughs> That's not good. All right. Here's what I'm wondering. Can we go back to Boo's Mansion? If we can go back to Boo's Mansion, I am totally storing some stuff and buying some life shrooms. Because we're not going to be doing as much damage against the boss as I thought, especially if the two badges don't stack. So, that's going to be interesting to figure out. I don't see any reason why I can't. <laughs> Later! I'm out of here! <laughs> Mario just stabbed everyone in the back. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'll totally have, like defeat Tubba Bubba. All these boos sacrifice themselves for him. <laughs> Later, losers! <laughs> I'm going to buy some life insurance. I mean, life shrooms. <laughs> Bo's just like, are you kidding me right now, Mario? <laughs> Welcome to Boo Shop. How can I scare you today? All right. Uh, Repel Gel. Yeah, save that for more pressing matters. Store the Snowman doll. Sounds good. Uh, let's store some of that maple syrup. We'll store a Super Shroom. Alright, how much are Life Shrooms? They're 50 coins, just like I thought. I'm gonna buy two. Because after this world, before we need them again, we can, uh just make them for four coins. So, that's gonna be great. Alright. <laughs> Mario's like, okie dokie! I could go back to Toad Town, but that would be a pretty, <laughs> pretty terrible thing to do. <laughs> Alright, so now, here comes... So what I want to do now... I'm gonna save here. What I want to do is I want to get into peril before starting the boss fight. Oh, we still have the tub of blah blah chase music, cool. Using the Mystical Cube key on the lock, there are some enemies down here. I'm going to be intentionally engaging them and letting them bring my HP down to one. 
All right, we are unequipping Speedy Spin. Out of all of these, Close Call is going to be the best. So, three of these are going to work in tandem. These two are going to boost my pow attack power by a ton when my HP is low. And this one is going to make sure that attacks occasionally miss me. So hopefully that will be like my last insurance policy. All right. Hey, boy. Oh, it's just one of you. This... This could work out very well. Alright, yeah, he's gonna charge up. Beautiful. So that puts me in danger. Oh, they only deal one damage still if they're not charged up. Interesting. Okay, nope, I'm not letting you do that. That was really close, actually. It was too close for comfort. Cool. Do that again, please. Thank you. At this point, I really don't care if I lose my... Alright. I am going to... Temporarily re-equip Speedy Spin. To help me get past here. Oh yeah, the sign says, no entry allowed. Really? No entry allowed? Absolutely no entry allowed. <laughs> Alright. Unequip speedy spin, re-equip close call. Who are you? What? Mario? Did someone tell you that I'm the secret strength of Tubba Blubba? Someone spilled the beans that the Tubba Blubba in the castle is just a shell, and I'm controlling it from here? <laughs> you can't trust anybody. I can't let you out of here knowing the secret of my invincible body. Sorry, but here we go. Possibly my favorite boss music in the game. Alright, let's see how much damage I do. So I do two with each jump from my boots, plus four from Mega Rush, so that'll be six. Will I do six or eight? Only s oh. Aw, oh, man. That's bad. So they don't stack. Well, darn it. Hey you, Lady Ghost. You look quite tasty. Stick around after the battle. Fighting makes me hungry. Blech! You wish. You don't have a chance, you ghost goblin freak. Mario, now I'm really mad. Let's beat this thing up. <laughs> I'm gonna do this great attack. It's impossible to avoid. I just have to prepare a bit, so hang on for a second. Oh man, Mega Rush is nowhere near as good as I thought it was. Not only does it only boost your attack power by 4 instead of 5, but it doesn't stack with Power Rush. Alright, this is where Bose really comes in handy. She can use this nice little ability called Out of Sight, and make us invincible for one turn. But then she can't attack on her next turn. <laughs> Did you know Mario's kind of in peril right now? I did know that, as a matter of fact. Oh, cool, he's doing it again. Sweet. He can also do another attack that just hits you for six damage, which is why I bought the life shrooms. Owie, I'm hurting! I have to get out of here! Okay, well, Power Rush sucks. That also means Close Call is inactivating. Alright, well, then we'll unequip both of those. Uh, Speedy Spin's back on. And refund's back on, I guess. Alright, so much for the trifecta of awesomeness. Oh man. I'm really sad. I was I was looking forward to just abusing Power Rush and Mega Rush. Why why don't they stack? They totally should stack. Get back here, you heart. 
I ain't finished with you yet. It's time to reunite! You, he ate his heart. Hearts don't go in your stomach. Oh yeah, no, I'm feeling good. With my heart and my body united, there's no way to beat me. I don't think that's how that works. Yow! <laughs> yep, he's that easy. <laughs> he only has 10 HP. Oh, oh no! With my heart and my body united, I'm not invincible anymore! Now I'm back to not invincible Tubba Bubba! That's so lame! I give up! Look, I'll give you back all the ghosts I ate! Forgive me! I'm actually a really sensitive guy trapped in a huge body! I don't want to be invincible anymore if it means I have to fight guys like you! <laughs> oh, poor Tubba Bubba. Ha ha ha! Serves you right! And now, we got all the booze back. Anyhow, I'm traveling with you forever now! Ha ha ha! Anyhow, now we'll stop holding the Star Spirit hostage. And give it back to you. And this gives us... The best Star Spirit ability in the game. Star Storm, which deals 7 damage pierce to all enemies, no ifs, ands, or buts. <laughs> it basically instantly destroys all enemies, and it's very good against enemies with lots of defense. End of chapter. After solving the secret of the invincible Tubba Wubba, Mario Party set free Star Spirit Scholar. That's a pun. But that's only the victory for now. There's still more to come. We will save and continue. I've been streaming for around three hours now. We'll stop pretty soon. Hey, Peach. I wonder how Mario's doing. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's figure out if he beat up Tubba Bubba or not. Let's sneak out the same way again, because Bowser clearly isn't like, Okay, Peach keeps sneaking out. Even my guards aren't that stupid. They're literally standing right outside her door. Clearly, she has another way out. Let's try to find this other way out. Or, hey, let's imprison her in a different room. Or even, hey, Peach can sneak around the castle, whatever. She can't go anywhere. <laughs> It can't be! No, no, no! Explain that again, slowly. Your wretchedness, I keep trying to tell you. Tubba Blubba was... De defeated by Mario. Well, that's strange, because you told me he was invincible! How can you beat someone who's invincible? <laughs> well, he was really stupid, and he ate his heart. Nobody should ever do that. <laughs> uh, stupid Mario, I guess he found out the secret that made Tubba Blubba not quite so invincible. Cammy Koopa didn't see any of the, the rotating stuff. Bowser didn't hear it. Wow, they, they are very dumb. They're very dumb. I hate him. I despise Mario. I really do. Your filthiness. We have to come up with another tactic and quickly. The Mario will most likely go to Shy Guy's toy box next. Yes, so we should prepare something there for his arrival. I won't be satisfied just having him beaten up anymore. What we need to do is find his weak point and completely humiliate him. Yeah. Cammy Koopa, you gotta find out what Mario hates and... I'm so mad, I'm gonna turn around, and then turn back again, and then turn around again, and then open my eyes. Huh? Ah! For the love of- why- why is Princess Peach here? What is wrong with those cards? <laughs> no, wait. Hit on! This is actually good timing, my mischievous princess. We're just discussing the weak points of our mutual friend, Mario. So, Princess Peach, what do you know about his weaknesses, huh? And listen, you must be honest. Which one of these things does Mario hate the most? Mushrooms. Mmm, I see. Excellent. Is there another feat that fills him with dread? Thunder Rage. Good, good. Now how about these feats? Which of these feats does he hate? Super Soda. Oh, excellent. Perfect. Thanks, Princess. <laughs> be sure Mario can't avoid these feats that he hates. We'll beat him for sure. Did you get all that, Kami Koopa? Get going immediately. <laughs> yeah, well, of course you're not in this. Yeah, Mario's really in for it now. Or is he? I started to wonder for a second there. <laughs> But then again, King Bowser's ordered this, so I have no choice but to obey him. I guess we'll see. Of course you will! My tactics are brilliant! They're pure art! 
<laughs> so, Cammy Koopa, have Princess Peach take it back to her room immediately. Don't investigate how she get, keeps getting out. It's clearly the guard's fault. <laughs> guard's attention! <laughs> Stop being so stupid and keep her in her room. <laughs> Twink, and they're just like, yeah, there's a star flying around, whatever. Grab it and we'll get like seven seconds of invincibility. Yes, Mario, I knew you could do it. I am Scholar. Take my power. Mario's star energy went up to free, and now we can use Star Storm. I have a bit of bad news. Bowser keeps getting stronger somehow, even though he already has the Star Rod, which should make him equally strong all throughout. I don't know. Seems kind of strange. <laughs> Anyhow, we have another boss fight coming up, so I'm going to do the exact same thing I did before. Only this time, I do it good. <laughs> Wait, there are enemies here, right? Okay, there you are, bud. Okay, I really don't like the idea of both of you attacking me. Uh, that's, that's a no-no. So I got ex I got star points for that, but I'm gonna run away, so I lose the star points. Beautiful, back in peril. Mega Rush is too good to not use for that. Maybe maybe later on in the game I'll go back to using a uh, Power Rush because it's it's less powerful but it's safer. Because you could be at 5 HP, and then you can actually survive some attacks at 5 HP. Alright, so normally Bo is completely useless for this upcoming fight, because it has one defense, so she can't actually attack. However, what she does have is out of sight, which can keep me alive for longer. So that's what we're going to do. Alright. So we got Mega Rush... Don't want speedy spin. It's not going to help us lick. Um, besides that... Out of all of these, power jump is probably the best. Yeah. Um, I may end up dying. So, let's save. I know I have two life streams, but still... I will definitely be using a life stream of this. No! Bugs, get off of me! I'm lost in this freaky forest, so scared! Da! Ah! Oh, Mario, oh, fake! I mean, aha! Boy, are you unlucky to run into me again. Who is this kid? What a dirty little urchin. He must be lost. Hey, shut up, shut up! I'm not a lost child! I'm the leader of a game! I'm your worst nightmare. Here comes the pain. Hey, that ended up rhyming! That's great. Don't think I'm as vulnerable as I was before. Check this out. More power! So now he's actually... This is actually a really tough fight, casually. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Let's see how you like the new improved Junior Shrimp. Because he has 40 HP, quite a bit of attack, and one defense. And he's in the air. Bo saved my life. <laughs> Alright. And again. So they just got rid of half his HP. Oh, that's nice. But now we're dead. But this is why I have life streams and the refund badge. Alright. Let's Star Storm this guy. You've been a very bad boy. So, honestly, the only party member who we have who can even damage Junior Troopa is Paracarry. <laughs> the other characters either can't reach him or just aren't powerful enough. He deals five. That is a lot. That is a lot, lot, lot of damage. Ooh, Shell Shot. 
I keep forgetting about that one. Actually, yeah, let's use Shell Shot. Oh, wait, that deals the same amount of damage as... Actually, that might be deal less damage than Power Jump. Oh, come on! <laughs> I timed the action command for that. That's baloney. <laughs> this is why I bought two of them. This is also why I saved them beforehand. Oh, I, it is so difficult for me to time Paracarry's skydive move. I don't know why. The, the window is so narrow, though, for it. Ride the pain train. There you go. Man, that was tough. I had to use two life streams for that. That's not good. No! Darn it, darn it, darn it! <laughs> Serves you right. Anyhow. There we go. Oh, I could make it out of the forest! I could kiss the ground! Yahoo! Fried pad! <laughs> and the Shy Guys are here in town. So that's fun. Hey you! Hey you little scamp! Get your hands off my calculator! <laughs> Get out of here. Thank you! The flowers give you your thanks as well. Hey lady, I got three flower seeds to plant. Please plant them all. She's so happy, too. I really like the design of this toad, whose name is Miss T, by the way. That's pretty great. So once we plant all four of those, something special happens. And we want something special to happen. Oh, yeah. They lost their calculator, so they their life is devoid of meaning now. So that's cool. Hey, I want to sleep a day! Actually, I'm in peril. Oh, but I'm missing 5 FP. And I'm missing some star power. Alright. I can always get back into peril pretty easily. That is, oh, it's so dumb how Mega Rush and Power Rush don't stack. Come on. <laughs> All right, uh, there's nothing I can really do up there. I have a fortune, though, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to invest in the most important commodity around. Pigs. <laughs> I love little oinks. Love them. You want to learn about them? Sure, yeah, the little oinks are, oink are pigs that hatch from eggs. True story, bro. Ooh, a mystery little oink. So depending on what type of little oink it is, when it leaves the pen, it'll give you a different item. I want the ones that give me repel gel. <laughs> so that means I can stay in peril for a good long time. So basically how it works is you, the pen can only hold 10 pigs. When you get an 11th pig, the first pig that entered the pen will leave and leave behind an item. If they leave behind an item, you can grab... <sighs> nice. When they leave behind an item, you can open the pen to grab it, but if you open the pen, all of the pigs run away and they don't leave any items. So the items you get cost you a whole lot of money. You get... cost 110 coins, at minimum, to get an item from the Little Wings. Bare minimum, it costs 110 coins, but it also has access to three extremely rare items. Namely, Repel Gel, Ultra Shrooms, and Jam and Jellies, which are free items you can't get any other way. 
at least in infinite amounts. Oh, I can also get Jump Charge now, but only after Rolf goes back. Jump Charge could be great working in tandem with Mega Rush. I don't even know how many pigs I have in the pen. I really hope the star little wings are the ones that give you the repelled gel. <laughs> Oink! <laughs> what kind of, of mad science lab is this that pigs that hatch out of eggs come out of here? Seriously, dude, like, what kind of genetic engineering are you doing? A black little wink. Those give you dried shrooms. That's fantastic. Alright, this is... Okay, I remember. This is gonna make the first little wink leave and leave behind a prize. And it's a mystery little wink, so if that leaves behind repel gel, I am totally doing that. <gasps> it's repel gel! Alright, give me that. Give me that repel gel. Yes, that Repel Gel cost me 110 coins. Yes, it is worth it. <laughs> Mario! Hey, remember me? I'm Twink. I see you after every world. Guess what? You gotta go to Shy Guy's Toy Box. Oh, our time is short. <laughs> My time has come. Hey, you thief! Did something just happen? Mario, too, a shy guy stole my storeroom key! I can't stay in business if I can't get into my storeroom. What in the world do I do? I don't know. Can I store some items with you? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> oh, stone caps are also useful. Not really with Mega Rush, but stone caps you can use if you just want your partner to do all the work. Welcome to Chapter 4! Do 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 do! Trials in the Toy Box. I love this world. This is one of my favorite worlds. Oh, how many items do I have? Well, not a whole lot. Thanks, no thanks to the dumb wife shrooms that I had to use. Alright, down here... I actually do need to get his calculator back. Get back here. <laughs> That's all it took. I took damage intentionally, by the way, for anyone who didn't know. I did that, so that way I could get to peril faster. <laughs> Thank you, Bo, for being so powerful. One of the only common enemies that I actually want to destroy. Also, this world is filled with invisible blocks, so... I thought there was one over there. I'm pretty sure there's one over there somewhere.
Oh yeah, stone cap. I've been waiting for that one. Weesh, let's go this way. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Mario hates this fiend, so he'll surely turn back. Uh, I think. That doesn't look like the sort of fiend that'd bother Mario. I wonder if I should really trust what Peach says. Well, it doesn't matter. King Bowser ordered it. And he's the boss. <laughs> How is Bowser that dumb that he's like, Oh, Mario hates mushrooms. Clearly this is a good idea. He just likes Peach too much. He's a Peach could never tell a lie. She's like George Washington. Alright. Alright, lining that up is actually kind of tricky because you can't really see where the block is relative to the rest of the place. Alright, Thunderbolt. Very nice. Mushroom, very nice. Storeroom key. Exceptionally nice. So this is one, uh, the whole place is kind of a giant dungeon of sorts, and you do have to keep leaving and coming back. However, you get shortcuts eventually, which is good. That's exactly how backtracking should be done. If you ever have to backtrack to a place more than once, you should get a shortcut to that place. Wait, no. Not the train station. We are going here. Yes, I know. Here, here's your storeroom key. Oh, you did it, Mario! Thank you, you're a lifesaver. Tell you what, take whatever you want from my storeroom. Alright, well, I'm gonna need you to check some stuff first. Repel gel, and stone cap, and, uh... Thunderbolt for now. That should be all. Please drop by again. Alright, Dizzy Dial, sell that. Toy Train, boom. Voltrum, that's nice. Snowman Doll, that's also nice. Okay, dude. I like all that stuff, but we're selling that Dizzy Dial. Oh, and we're also going to store the Snowman Doll and the Voltrum. I also want to give Rolf back his calculator, so that way we can buy stuff from him again. If you don't give him back his calculator, you literally just can't go back to his bed shop. Oh, sorry, bud. I had to close up shop. I, I lost my calculator, and I can't do math in my head, even when it's really simple math. <laughs> then we get the Ice Spy Badge, which we could equip, but it will do nothing for us, because all it does is tell you where hidden star pieces are, and we have no use for star pieces. Back to the toy box. The real important thing in that storeroom was the toy train, which I don't know why he had. But what we can do is we can drop it in the toy box. I love Shy Guy's toy box. It's such a cool world, and I, I wish more video games, especially games like Mario, did crazy worlds like it. It's just like a giant, like, present in a house randomly, but it's like a... You shrink down, and inside is just like this giant play place. It's so cool. Anyhow... Can you believe it? <laughs> I wanted to be a train conductor, but I didn't realize we needed a train for that. Now that somebody gave us a train and it fell from the heavens, we can be in business. Oh yeah, we'll take you to Pink Station. 
Man, these people suck at being entrepreneurs. It's Pink Station! The manliest station of them all. Oh, you have the mailbag! I forgot that got stolen. We're gonna just probably hold on to that for the rest of the game. We wanna go here. Yes! Thunder Rage! There is a chest back there, but it contains the Defense Plus badge, which takes a whopping 6 VP to equip. Not allowed. Thank you! So I can't remember, does this take 1 or 2 BP to equip? Ice power, alright. 2. Rats. I really wanted that to only cost 1. It only cost... But we were not that badge. They made that badge better in Thousand Year Door. And they make it cost 1 BP less. It's like... It's amazing. Man, this dungeon goes by so... All of the worlds go by so fast when you just avoid all enemies. Holy cow. This is like my new favorite way to play the game, almost. <laughs> I think I'd enjoy the... I might, maybe I'd enjoy the game more if I could equip more badges and I could upgrade my partners. If so, holy cow. That might be easy. <laughs> wow. The more you learn about the game, am I right? Alright, now we get the important thing. We get the frying pan, which we need to give to Taste Tea. And she will make us something wonderful. Something exquisite. Something so great that even the most gourmet of gourmands would be appreciative. Oh, hey, hon. Sorry, but I lost my frying pan. Well, I found it. Oh, my frying pan. Well, here, I'll cook you something very nice. Here's the cake. And we get a cake. A tasty cake baked by Taste Tea. Restores 15 FP. So looking at it, it looks like just kind of a plain white cake with, like, a raspberry mousse in the middle. Like, just topped with Cool Whip and a strawberry. This is my most delicious cake! One taste of it won my late darling's heart. <laughs> uh, would you like me to cook something? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Not until I give you a cookbook. <laughs> you say you're a great chef, but you only can cook with one ingredient, which kind of sucks. Yes, jump charge. <laughs> this is the badge for me. <laughs> jump charge gets my vote as one of the most broken badges in the game. It only costs 1 BP to equip, costs 1 FP for each use, it stacks on itself, and it can make your jump, like, just impossibly powerful. And because it affects both of your jumps, it's fantastic. Combine this with the Power Bounce badge, which lets you, which lets you repeatedly jump on one enemy's head. Yeah, it's insane. Alright. Mario, stop being dumb and push the switch. We're going to Pink Station. The next stop is the pink station. Alright. Now we gotta fix the track before we can go to the next station. So... Watch out for the spy guys. They are relentless in pursuing you. <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> Nothing of interest. <laughs> Everyone calls me Gourmet Guy. I don't know why. I'm just an ordinary food loving shy guy. <laughs> oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> you can give him anything you want, but you have to give him a cake. Oh. 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 Delicious. This is lip smacking good. Yes. 
Jump! <laughs> One of my favorite parts. And we get the cookbook. That's what we want. That is what we want. <laughs> cookbook breaks the game completely. Oh, hey, it's a super soda. It's like a slightly better honey syrup, because it also cures poison and in shrinking. I got... Oh, I, I touched that guy and engaged in battle? Surely you jester. That was close. It's actually not a jester guy. It's called Groove Guy. Oh, Dizzy Dial. Lame. Granted, Dizzy Dials are better in this than they are in Thousand Year Door. Well, that was fancy. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, that's bad. <laughs> oh, my foot. You know what? For forget it. It's not worth it. I love how it's like, one side of the track is broken, but the other side's fixed. We can just use that one. Is there no hidden block here? No, I thought there was a hidden block there. Actually, wait, no. Super Soda is actually slightly more useful than a Dizzy Dial. Because Dizzy Dials really don't work on bosses. I suppose what I could do, I could just repeatedly jump on the Pyro Guy's head. Also, why they are not called Fry Guys, I don't understand. But they're Pyro Guys. Nope! Doggone it! Stupid Groove Guy. I wonder why they call me Jump Man. I'm better at running. Spy Guy, forgot about you. <laughs> oh, yeah, and Medi Guys. Or Medi Guys. I really should memorize where more of those hidden blocks are. Okay, what we're gonna do now is we're going back to Blue Station. For the simple reason of, now that we got the cookbook, we can make some stuff. There's Blue Station. To exit the toy box, please go to your left. I think I will do that. Alright. <laughs> now, here's where things get broken. Hi, welcome to Harry's shop. I can only check ten more items. So we're checking that. Now we're gonna claim some stuff. Specifically, our Koopa leaves. <laughs> Time to abuse some cooking. 
Hey, Tasty, I got you a cookbook. The Literally the only cookbook that you have. How did she become the most famous chef in the, the, the Mushroom Kingdom? Like, how? I do not understand this. Everyone else in the Mushroom Kingdom must just really, really, really suck at cooking. Best recipe in the game, Voltrum plus Koopa Leaf. Life Shroom. Also, Super Shroom plus Honey Syrup is going to be really good too, because that just tops off our stats. Now we have three life shrooms and a volt shroom ready to make into another life shroom. Once we get more Koopa leaves. I think I might do that off stream though. Just get a whole bunch of life shrooms. Because watching Mario cook is pretty boring. Hey bro, I want to claim. Because I got a lot of stuff to claim, alright. Syrup, fried egg, honey syrup, super shroom, super shroom, and super soda. I'd like you to cook me something. Super shrimp. Honey syrup. It'll just save some inventory sp space. And honestly, these ingredients are pretty cheap. So I'm okay if I end up quote unquote wasting it and eating it when I don't have when I don't need FP or something. Enough lollygagging now, let's go back to the toy box. We're going to Green Station. And we can just bypass this puzzle. Because I already know the order. No need to get the mystery note or the dictionary. Boom, we're just going straight to Red Station. <laughs> One of the nice things about replaying the game, if you remember what order to hit those in. Bada beam, bada boom. Actually, you know what? We're about to get a new partner that lets us see the invisible blocks anyway, so...
the boss of this world is actually going to be pretty tough, too, especially if Mega Rush and Power Rush don't stack. I'm never going to get over how annoying that is. Alright, we're heading to the left. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh-uh. Stupid pyro guy, I don't want to fight you. I will take the deep focus patch, though. I know I already have one, but I could technically equip two if I wanted. Nope. Uh-uh. Maybe if there were fewer enemies. Yes, please. Okay, badges for this fight. I do want Mega Rush. I don't want Speedy Spin. Because I'll take that and I'll take Jump Charge. I think that's good. Alright, now I'm trying to think... <laughs> I do want to be in peril when I enter that, though, so... I'm actually gonna do a thing. I'm gonna keep... Jumping on this guy's head, I think. <laughs> Ouch! Hmm... Question is... Well... I could take these guys out one by one. No. Nope. Not with the Groove guy and the Spy guy there. <sighs> if one of... Mm, actually... They're too dangerous. All of them together are too dangerous. Poor Mario. If, however, I reach a point... <laughs> if I reach a point where, uh... I might be in trouble. <laughs> I'm gonna go back and save, I think. Also, are they the same guys in this fight as well? Because there's also a pyro guy down here. Two pyro guys and a spy guy. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm gonna step on his head one more time, and then I'm gonna go save. Thank goodness I've been able to run away every time. If I can run away, then that would be a real problem. <laughs> Mario's like, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> what did I do? Oh no, this is not good. Oh, that, <laughs> that was close. It was very close. I'm also going to temporarily re-equip that speedy spin badge. I gotta get away. <laughs> I may end up using a life shroom against this fight, but, but you know what? I am totally okay with that. Yeah. Nope. I freaking pyro guy. I jumped on that stupid block. This is why I saved before doing this. And just in case I end up accidentally jumping on Pyro Guy's head, or just in case something stupid happens, like, uh, 
I can't run away or something. Anyhow, enough about me. Wee hee 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 hee, someone has come. Someone is here in the dark. I don't think I re-equipped Jump Charge. That's okay. I wasn't going to use it anyways. Wee hee hee. Oh, could it be? Wee hee hee hee, it's Mario. Looks like you're mine, Mario. Wee hee. I won't let you go anywhere. That was kind of creepy. Wee hee. I'll take care of you quickly, then return to my darkness. I hate the light. So I'll take you with me to the deep dark. Well, this is where Bo helps. Bo is great for lighten lightening up the room. She can hit it a whole bunch. So this the big lan big lantern ghost ain't too tough. Whoa! I hate light. I'll make it darker, then even darker than that. You gotta hit the lantern a few times before it's light enough for uh, you to attack Big Lantern Ghost. Darn it! I tried. Oh, Bo. Poor Bo. <laughs> Give me my money back! <laughs> and Bo's injured now. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> that was funny. I tried hard to defend against that light attack, but it's pretty tough. Oof. That hurt. Big Lantern Ghost. Oh, I'm halfway to maxing out my BP. No! My thoughts exactly, dude. And now we get one of the best partners in the game. Yeah, I got out! Because Watt is, um... Uh, Watt's like a baby spark, which is kind of very strange. Her default attack damages enemies free and pierces their defense. Which is really good. Walk well, can also see in the dark and see invisible blocks, which is great. Watt's well, probably the most useful partner in the entire game. I, that's why I really like this game. All of the partners in this game are useful in some way. All of them. Now, unless I'm mistaken, I think <laughs> stupid pyro guy. You're the worst. I actually do not want to go into this upcoming boss fight with 1 HP. Uh, well, it would be really nice to do that, but... Hmm. Actually, I kind of do. It would be pretty nice to be able to... Well... Let me think. Actually, no, that would be pretty nice. To start with uh, just 1 HP. So I actually think I will do that. Let's go back to Blue Station. At Blue Station, there are just some common Shy Guys I can encounter. And with them, it's pretty easy to just go down to 1 HP without having to worry about them killing you. I think, should we pull the lever or should we not? I just don't know. Well, we should. If we don't pull the lever, then we can't go anywhere. And now it comes full circle, quite literally. It's, it is a circle. I should have moved that lever ages ago! Yeah, you really should have. Then I could have gone to the boss a lot earlier. Yeah, 
Next stop, Blue Station, Blue Station. Yes, you. There's three of them. Wonderful. Wonderful. Down to two. So now I just have to find a pyro guy and jump on his head. Beautiful. Take me back to that red station, please. This is great. We'll end at roughly the four hour mark of the stream. Because I'm going to basically finish this and then we can stop the stream. Super Shroom, thank you. All right, Pyro Guy. You're doing this on purpose. <laughs> yes, I am, Mario. Trying to figure out what badges do. Probably refund. Well, definitely Mega Rush, because that's the whole reason I went down to 1 HP. Probably refund. Maybe? Oh, yeah, I know. I know which badges I'm equipping. Well, I'll get there before unequipping the speedy speed. I love all the different colored Shy Guys in this world. It's great. Hey, Bombat, we need your assistance. <laughs> I love the sound effects that they make. It's fantastic. Okay, cool. In this room, you use everybody. Like, pretty much all your partners to get this, uh... Shooting star is absolutely worth it. Shooting stars are very good items. Oh, no! I almost forgot that these... That's right! I'm in peril, and thus Mega Rush is letting me do lots of damage. I'm like, well, that was... I'm pretty sure this just has a sleepy sheep inside of it. Yeah. That. So you gotta get Watt in order to enter here, otherwise they won't do it. Run, run for it! Why help me? Alright, that's that. And we're gonna use Bo. Because Bo can preserve our Mega Rush ability. So you came, did you? I'm General Guy. We're following the orders of King Bowser by guarding a star spirit. As long as we keep it secure, we have permission to do whatever we want. You hear? I don't care for you, sir. You are rude, and furthermore, you're trespassing in here. Our toy box is off limits to the likes of you. The treasures inside this box are for shy guys only. And that star spirit's fate is none of your business. Prepare to fight me, sir. Taste defeat. Charge! So this is why. Well, I'm in peril, but yeah. Okay, guys, let's rush in together. Charge! <laughs> Goodbye, Shy Squad. Mercy, he beat them all up. That surely isn't good. Guess it's up to me. Oh, that poor shy guy. <laughs> also, he is such a cool tank. It's awesome. Mario, you, sir, will pay. You beat my infantry. But that's all you'll do. Prepare for the next wave. I really hope they don't attack right away. I don't want to use a life stream this early on. Go, attack still, guys. Fight, fight. Yes, sir, right away, sir. Excellent. Okay. Here's the thing. I hmm. 
Shoot, didn't re-equip my badges, so I still have Speedy Spin equipped. I wanted to equip Power Smash. Oh well. That's fine. This is working out very well. <laughs> I'm just not giving them a chance to attack. Urgh, unbelievable! Because it's up to my special battalion. These guys are going to be tougher. <laughs> what are you doing to my tank? <laughs> ho, 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 I pity you, sir. It's time you paid Mario. Attack! Yes, sir! It's like, did you know Mario is in peril? Because Mario's in peril! <laughs> yeah, that's what Mega Rush is for. And here's the problem, though. <laughs> I don't have any more FP to do out of sight. <laughs> ah, fine, I'll beat you myself. Nobody embarrasses the brave shy guys of my army. Nobody! Okay, so here's what we can do. I could destroy the light. The light bulb in particular is quite annoying. Bo can't really do anything else. Do I want to... I don't particularly want to do that, so... Let's honey... Sh let's honey super it up. I don't really want to have to use a life shroom unless I really need to. I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna follow it up by swapping to Watt. Watt is going to be useful for the rest of the fight. Deals a lot of damage to Mario, it is true. Oh, Light Bulb actually has defense. Good thing I swapped. Oh, that's not good. I thought that would destroy the Light Bulb. Oh my gosh, I did it! Okay, please destroy the Light Bulb. Please. Good, good, good. Do I have something? Do I have the stone cap? No, I don't. Rats. Well, I got to peril, but that didn't really help a lot. Sorry. <laughs> annoying. <laughs> that hurt! Where'd you learn to fight? You must be cheating. That's not good. I was really hoping to guard all of his bomb attacks so I'd go back into peril. Grr, my high-tech tank defenses don't seem to stand up to that electrical attack. Quit doing that! It's, it's too powerful! You're breaking the rules of war! Yeah, I was hoping to do that for all of them. Okay, so if I use refresh. This is actually tricky, because I'm trying not to use any of my life shrooms. Herder, I can't count. I really hope I can guard this next bomb, otherwise we're in trouble. Thank goodness! <laughs> okay, that was funny. <laughs> Alright. I do believe it's time to heal again. I am using a lot of items against this guy. Ah, again. The... Take this. <laughs> Star Storm. Why am I so bad at guarding against those bombs? 
I'm really bad at guarding against those. Alright, gotta use another item. <laughs> Should have brought my stone cap with me, that would have been great. Should have equipped Power Smash as well, that also would have been great. Oh, doggone it, I could have just killed. Meh. Oh well. Bye, general guy. That was definitely the trickiest fight thus far, even though I actually died against Tut and Koopa. That was trickier. Because you can't just cheese him with Mega Rush. Yay, we beat the Shy Guys! Yeah, we did. I don't think I've ever ended that fight with any partner other than Watt. I wonder if the other partners say something different. <gasps> well, I think this is as good a stopping point as any. We're getting a built-in save point right here. Which means that next stream we get to bake a cake as Princess Peach. Which is going to be amazing. Die! You just got the fourth star spirit. Only three left. And it's end of chapter. And so it was that we rescued Muscular, the <laughs> which is an amazing name. Four-star spirit, but what else can be done? Alright, I I think I'm done streaming now. This has been so much fun. I did not think I was going to get through the first four worlds in one stream. I expected to get through maybe Dry Dry Ruins this stream, but holy cow, that's amazing. We should be able to do all this in probably two different streams, maybe three. It all depends on how <laughs> the last worlds go, because all of a sudden, now, I realize... I was playing in events, I'm like, oh my gosh, with Power Rush and Mega Rush, and, like, it, I'm gonna do so much damage, and then it's like, oh, well, actually less so. I'm doing three less damage per jump than I was expecting, because I thought Mega Rush boosted by five, and I thought Power Rush stacked with it, but it doesn't. It's just plus four. Still... Thanks for watching, everybody. Who, uh, thanks for joining the stream, everybody who did. And if you're watching on YouTube, thanks for joining that, too. Next uh, part will be uploaded when I finish it. And I hope everyone had a great time. I hope everyone enjoys their weekend. Until we meet again, everybody, have a great day, and God bless. Thanks for joining in.